It's, it's not even on me. Oh, I meant we're going um, live now. Here well, we then, go. It doesn't look like this it. This is where we should go. We should have Fucking our theme song come in. It still says starting soon. I don't know what our theme song is yet, but it should be like... And? Hello, Internet. Oh, this is episode eight of Radio on the TV podcast. I am your host, Just Connor. To my right, we have the Flying Fingers himself. Without him, this show would not be possible. We have DJ Lightbright Jake West. Woo! Uh, look at my fingers, baby. <laughs> look at my fingers. Enjoy them, ladies. Straight ahead in front of me. He is coked out without being on any drugs. What the fuck? What the fuck? We got Michael. <laughs> I don't even like that. <laughs> Say hi to everybody. The only Mike. Coke I like is cola, baby. <laughs> and today, we have a special guest for us. Nobody's on this show that no one watches. I'm watching it. <laughs> Who is it? We have Spencer Williams, big baby son to some of you. Boom, 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 boom. Hello. And we just call, we're just calling him Spence Man today. We're not worthy. We're not worthy. Right. Thanks, Spence Man. <laughs> So, how's everyone doing today? I'm fine, man. Thanks for having me, by the way. I don't know what this is. I'm scared. Yeah, don't be worry. very afraid. Be afraid. <laughs> Hopefully. Uh, Welcome to Amateur Hour. Thank you. <laughs> uh, I'm very familiar with that, so. <laughs> well, where I do. Oh, yeah. Was, what was that? You just did a random audition to get into that station? Uh, I got an internship a long, long time ago, and I've just been biding my time until everyone got fired. Uh the waiting game. The that's right a, people, yeah. That's so. exactly what I do with every job I have. It hasn't gotten me anywhere yet, but I'm still doing it. Hey, man, look <laughs> look how far you've come. You're in a podcast with two other guys. And it's yeah. Right. That's right. I like how you say that. <laughs> do you two guys make guys. money for this? <laughs> Not at no. all. Well, just keep waiting. I maybe. lose money, man. Yeah, we lose money. Yeah. I spend money. We yeah. call it an investment, but really. Yeah, Jake, Jake was telling me right before that he spent a grand on this uh, new setup we got. Ooh. That's right. This for sure is purdy. Mm. I, I had to return the mics. They didn't work out. Um, no. I had These to, aren't the same mics? Uh, well, these are what we've been using, but I got some condenser mics. They had cool LEDs. They had a mute button on it. Could you imagine that? You touch it, turns off the LED. And um, unfortunately, I don't know how streamers use USB mics without a uh, monitor out because yeah. to monitor, you're just going to get that double. And yeah. that drives me insane. So. We're back to these until we get just some real condenser mics. I want to drop that Sweet, cash. Man. I like these though; they're wireless. It looks like. How do you? How do you? My think? assumption. They're <laughs> just some karaoke. These are cheap ass karaoke mics that don't really ha- manage too well. They peak a little early and such, but yeah. oh yeah, they're they're uh, they're okay for this for now. I think so. Wow. Yeah. yeah. How would you say these compared to what y'all got at the radio station? Uh, we got pretty good mics. We got some Shures. So I'm not sure the exact uh-huh. model. <laughs> they got condenser mics, man. We got good mics, and uh, they have like noise suppression on their boards. We just we're doing it after in the man. podcast software. So you know, <laughs> oh, I Whatever thought we were just throwing do. this on raw. Welcome to the garage, man. Thank you. Oh, Thank you. The garage. Yeah. So you guys use a, uh, like, <laughs> like, a like Adobe Audition or something to clean everything up? or Oh, uh, He's our producer. Yet. so Oh, wow. I'm yeah, just we're, we're just straight up spitting COVID all over these things. That's cool. <laughs> it's good, man. I'm not judging, by the way. I'm just curious. <laughs> I don't know how to make conversation normally. so Oh, well, no. That's it, it, it's just your job. I know. I'm responding to silly people, though. I'm, that's all I am is I'm the support and I'm the straight man, basically. Your 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 uh, your Ooh, boss is Robin. There we go. Rock and roll, baby. Robin, Batman and Robin. Silly me. <laughs> <laughs> yes, basically. <laughs> you know, I hear y'all get some uh, crazy phone calls when y'all are when y'all take go to break and play music. Uh, like people call in about uh, some of the jokes you and CJ do, where y'all get a little, let's say, sexual with each other. Oh, some guy wrote our. <sighs> I guess it's our webmaster. I, I don't know. They said yes, to complaint our, to a manager. Those are the best things to hear. Yeah, and they like to share those with us because they're kind of funny. <laughs> and this guy, apparently, I forget what he said his name was, and I wouldn't mention it, I guess, anyway. But it's usually like a, a joke name where they're trying to do a pun, like cuss name. Mm-hmm. Uh, recently, a guy, <laughs> uh, for different reason, was during the uh, the storms and the, the ice storm recently. His name was P.H. Fuck Hugh, <laughs> and he put in a bunch of fake stuff and was complaining about our weather team on the news station, but 
This guy writes in, and I guess, I don't know, sometimes CJ and I will blow kisses at each other on the mic. That's sweet. And then do it for a few seconds oh. just to have the audio. It's oh, dumb. I'm sure 101X loves y'all having to do all that. <laughs> get all, well, get all the, the, the crazy phone calls. Because we're not, I mean, we like doing gay stuff sometimes, I guess, but not off the air. Church. <laughs> we, jo- <laughs> we joke a lot that it's off the air, and I don't know what we could have been doing aside from the kissing stuff, but maybe every once in a while we'll make a little joke or one of us will pretend that we're a little little sassy or something and i don't know what this guy heard and he was like look i'm trying to listen into the radio the afternoon alternative station with my family and i hear this gay stuff i will i you have lost a listener or something we're just like cool have you seen the last of us wow that was one one hell of a segue there jake (laughs) it's talking about gay stuff man. man Oh right, stuff. that last oh, episode, okay. episode right, three. Right, right. <laughs> That's right. Spoilers. Well, uh, it's usually a good you haven't sign. seen it yet, Mike. No, I've seen it. Okay, oh, okay. I, I did not expect it. a gay Nick Offerman. Hey, I was born in the eighties. They called everything gay, so <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. especially I totally heterosexual. A gay Nick Offerman. <laughs> really? You, yeah. Do you, have you seen him and his wife or whatever? That girl from uh, uh, Megan Mullally. Yeah, from Will and Grace. They're definitely into some crazy sex stuff. I bet they're swinging. I, I guarantee you they're swinging. Look, yeah. I, I don't doubt he's into crazy stuff. I think. I mean, I a- mean, he's got that face where it looks like the guy is secretly trying to hide it, but not really. It's, it's like the open secret look on his face. Mm. Or I, I can't. I can't. Re- I can't do the face. Will cast him? I don't know. You got to <laughs> show us the face, man. I don't know. Just do he face. knows exactly. No, what I'm, I'm not going to try and do, do, do his face. Do Connor, it. Connor knows what he's talking about because he's 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 that guy too. Hey, I, I don't hide if I'm into kinky shit. Okay, oh, there you go. Good, there good, good. Here it comes. Don't, be don't shaming. kink shame. I'm yeah, not yeah. saying that. Don't kink shame. I was a kink shame. I'm sorry. <laughs> well, I didn't feel like talk, bringing it up now. Oh, not yet. I wasn't trying. <laughs> Now, you know what? now I, I like a hell of a segue. <laughs> I'll bring it up when it's a little bit more natural. Okay, good, good. good. So <laughs> for me, dude, I have had y'all remember how last last episode I was in pain. Um, well, yes. this no. weekend. Wait, wait. Well, yeah, you weren't fill here. Me in, sir. Oh, you do not want him to fill you in. <laughs> <laughs> That's a bit of a story that you'd have to let, watch the last episode. It's the to meat. Get. Uh, it was quite. I'm not caught up. Damn it. It's the meat of the show sandwich. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it involves. I, I felt like we were bonding. <laughs> yeah, you kept felt? you were, kept trying to look at my junk. Yeah, it, well, you were yeah. touching it. You kept. He kept. Okay, well, tell him what happened. Then. Okay. I had. Bl- I had a bad happened. case of blue balls. Okay. Yes, but he. Okay, yeah. so he kept putting look, pressure. Unnatural on blue balls a, on his. Yes. At uh, at our with our previous setup, I was sitting right next to Mike. Mm-hmm. But the thing is, to as I'm putting pressure, well, he was doing Mike keeps looking over well, like he's, he's doing, going. Yeah, he's doing it in front of me. Well, you're doing a strange thing. I, well, <laughs> you're. I don't think anyone. You are also trying to get an eyeful of me touching my. Pu- well, yeah. My pr- not, well, if you're pubic. giving me a show, I'm going to watch it. Yeah, you know. it's okay. We went over this last time. We don't have We're to not going to rehash I, it. I, yeah. This I is kind of like public almost. You yeah. know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> I'm interested. What's wrong? You want to take a shower together or what? No, I'm good. You can <laughs> do get... that by yourself. All right, take the showers, boys. Let's go. All right, so I, took mine, I just showered. I'm so <laughs> same. It's not the ex- I so on Friday had to had to leave work early. I was only there for three hours. I was just in so much pain with my hip here. Oh, that. I thought you hurt your balls. Yeah, thought, that was two was weeks ago. Say, yeah. oh, okay, okay. This was just. This was actually last week when I pulled something. It caused a spastic <laughs> muscle, Oof. and it got so bad on Friday that I just had to go straight to the chiropractor. And so the the only one that was a walk in was actually a guy I used to go to school with. And you know he's a uh, he. I'm I'm get I'm in the room. He's getting ready. And like a quarter of what he does, like because he hits, he gets, he does one from every side. And as he has me lying face down on that thing, hell yeah, with his knuckles basically, he just because it's it's right here on my hip, okay. so the the pain is sure. basically my ass. Oh. So he, he with his knuckles, he just like starts digging into my cheek. He's tenderizing yeah. the meat. Oh, no, yeah, tenderizing uh, yeah. it. It's like, it I, it sounds I, awesome. Yeah, I, I, I did not expect to go in on Friday morning to get to essentially get fisted that day. That Ooh. sounds awesome, though. <laughs> I'm, I'm into it. <laughs> how, how much did that cost? Uh, my I, my hip hurts, too. Yeah. You know, let alone get fisted <laughs> by a guy I essentially grew up and went to school with. Okay. 
Well, it, it wasn't. Did he pull strang- your strangely leg? enough? It. There we go. Oh yeah, there was that point where he just like picked my leg up and just like did he, to stretch. Did uh, it pop or? No, it was it's straight up a uh, spastic muscle. Whoa. Oh, yeah. But he also showed me like if it acts up on me, like I had my second uh, treatment uh, Saturday morning. And I'm going in for a third one uh, tomorrow after Hell work. Hell yeah. It's worked it then. He, he's a repeat customer for sure. Well, hopefully no more than five times. He also showed me a technique to do it myself to in the moment. Oh, yeah? Where essentially I just lay down, uh, grab my knee on the leg where it's at, and then pick it up, cross it over. And then essentially just punch myself in the ass. <laughs> oh, so now I, I am that. I am essentially fisting my own cheek at this that's point. That's a good one. I've done that before for some reason. I, I do. I do that too. Yeah. Well, you're just Every, straight up shoving your fist inside of you. No. Ooh, mm, that's not possible, is it? <laughs> I, I don't think you've seen. That. I don't think you've seen enough porn. You want to see a show? Well, <laughs> I mean, you're probably right. I'm pretty shy. <laughs> Too shy but to watch porn. Yeah. I do. I have Even hit- though I'm alone, I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know these people. <laughs> <laughs> Not really. I- <laughs> so what? The only people you follow on OnlyFans are ones you've been to, you've known personally. Yeah. I get to, I get their YouTube channels. I'm like, oh, this is their blog. This is what they're going through. Look at that haul that she just did. The candle haul. The Yankee candle haul. <laughs> Or the Claire's. No, I guess Claire's is for the younger side. That sounds awful. <laughs> Wait, what the hell is where do, Claire's? Where do normal women go? <laughs> normal of age women. Ulta. Ulta. Sephora. Yeah, Ultra, That's Sephora. Right. That's a good one. Uh, now that we're on one the, more. There's one more. So right. lonely. <laughs> uh, now that we're on the topic, funny enough, I do have a co-worker. He says that half the chicks he went to high school with are either strippers or on OnlyFans. Hmm. Oh, good for them. And, he, and yes, you know, he, I, I haven't, run, haven't run across anyone that I know personally, <laughs> thankfully. Uh, I feel like, I don't know if it'd be weird. I know a buddy of ours found like a friend's and he was like, no way. But I still haven't checked it out. I don't know. I'm just not curious. I don't know. I feel like we're friends. I like, can you at least give me a discount it- or something <laughs> or let me know about it. Cool. <laughs> and I can help support you kind of for yes. you. Uh, it just feels, it feels like it'd be weird. I don't know why. Give me a free so subscription me. and I'll tell everyone on the radio about you. There should be a coupon. There should be a coupon. Excuse me. <laughs> that makes sense. Coupon, you, I, don't know. I just feel like like you're my friend, and like I don't know, like I couldn't see myself hanging out with her like in in person after having looked at that <laughs> without her knowing, kind of, because I have a fake name on OnlyFans, yeah. <laughs> don't we all? I don't even know why. <laughs> it's called a stage name because I don't know anyone <laughs> on OnlyFans. Name, I'm like, but what if I accident? You know, what like, I mean? if you run, it's just the fear of like someone finding well, this, out. This is but now only... you're putting it out there, so now everyone knows. Well, well, what's your is... name? I'm not saying that. This is, <laughs> this can I pull only, it up? Can we be friends? I'll add you. His I name mean, is maybe. Span Span on there. Yeah, this is the out. only pornographic like material I've ever paid for. I've grown up with the internet, so a lot of it was either sample content in the early yeah. days. You watch little 30-second vids. Yes. Trailers. Yeah. <laughs> I, I remember those. Or, and then eventually the rise of streaming and all that was kind of crazy. So mm-hmm. the concept of paying for stuff was never a conversation I really had with anyone until more recently. Right. You know, post Me Too movement and the post uh, <laughs> social or post like a uh, positive sex working like mm-hmm. ideal and philosophy, which I've always been about sex work. Give it, give it to me if I pay for it. <laughs> I've never done that, but I'm like, yeah, let's legalize that. Let's get these people, you know, Would you just go to Vegas, hotel, man. In some hotel rooms that the business pays for, not the pimps. Right. Um, I forgot where I was going. I think I made up. A- might have been deciding about a point here, but you were, you were talking <laughs> oh, uh, about how you were sorry, lonely yeah, before the, Valentine's Day. You're getting yeah, us followers. That's what you're doing. But the, con- <laughs> the concept of paying for it was weird to me. It's the only time I've done it, and like I, I imagine myself as a teenager uh, making up like a fake name for some reason. So I, I did that, and I don't know why. Well, and it's a playoff. No, I'm not telling you. I'm not telling <laughs> you what it is because just in case, and I'm like, oh. That, you don't want to well, out there's yourself. Literally, after, there's nothing to be ashamed of with positive sex work talk and all that no That's kink fair. shaming. I mean, and I'm looking at vanilla. I'm looking at vanilla stuff, and these people are people, are people I don't know. Okay, so it's like, what's the big deal? Why am I hiding myself? And it's not like you know. can just reshare the stuff on OnlyFans. It's not like no. a social media account. Everyone can see what you're looking at. No, you can't just click, copy, paste, or whatever into like a paint, <laughs> a paint file. It's not like you're a senator <laughs> who accidentally likes a tweet about some porn about some st- incest porn. What about when your mom finds it, though, or your grandma? That's what about true. that? <laughs> That's the well, only thing. That my I question think. would Look, be: Is why is my grandma an OnlyFans? 
That's my main. <laughs> I get. I well, that's a good one. What's her username? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> hey, Granny's got to make some cash to give you on your birthday. <laughs> my grandma, that's a mighty fine. Mm. Never mind. <laughs> Anyway. <laughs> you, you you don't want to continue Woo. with that line there, <laughs> Mike. So, support nah. your support your favorite sex workers is all I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. Thanksgiving dinner, man. Would, that reminds me. Would of. you date? <laughs> would you date a girl with an OnlyFans? I don't know. Who cares? They I don't all know. I would. Who doesn't have I'm one? By I now? would ask to be in the videos. I mean, I think it kind of depends on what she's like. <laughs> you know, like I have to like her first. But yeah, is she nice? Yeah, I guess so. Right, I yeah, didn't consider that one. Are you, Obviously, you wouldn't date someone who's. I'll be like, take me out to all. dinner, sweetie. I know you just got done filming. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like yeah. maybe sprinkle daddy a little bit of that. <laughs> Goodness, exactly. might to be the sugar I, uh, baby. You're sh- yeah, yeah. You, you, sugar baby. You would be a sugar. Uh, yeah, sugar mom. Like so, quick question, Mike. Yes. Do you want your girl to start her own OnlyFans page? Oh, well, I support it all the way. Actually, <laughs> <laughs> I, would pro- I would promote it on here. Yeah, no. yeah. but you'd have to take that up with her. No, I've heard of some friends that had done it, but I've never looked for them because it to me it felt weird, like I said. But they, they, people can go on there and message them directly, basically. Uh, unless I guess maybe they're famous enough, they've got like a, a middle person to. Anyway. Oh no, there's an option but, to where you can pay to send them a message. Exactly, and I'm trying to think. This is one of these comedians around town. I won't say her name, but she was telling CJ, who I you know co- kind of co-host the CJ Morgan show with. Monday through Friday, three to seven, one on one X. Is it good? It's all right. <laughs> it's uh, no, it's I, I I enjoy where I work. So and Spencer's just CJ. glad to have a job. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Did you like? Didn't you? Did you do the rap song? I did the rap song. Did you like? Did you like it? Wait, what are you talking about? I don't have time to listen to you all show in the afternoon. I created the rap song. You created and... the raps. I thought it. I thought it was a. I thought CJ forced you to do it. That's what no, I no, no. I was like, this is fun. I'm already doing this on the oh, weekends okay. when I come in to okay. make my own stuff. So, so what, it, what are these rap songs? Just stupid. You never songs heard them about his dog. I, I told you I don't have time in the afternoon to tune into the show. I think. Well, they're also on YouTube, right? I think. Yeah, I think he posted them or at 101x.com. I think they're up on the site. Yeah. I only saw they're one. Somewhere. I only saw one. I well, didn't know there was multiple. He made us do a video for one recently, and that was the part where I was like, oh, man, I got to do more work on this. <laughs> yeah, that's that was that's what I'm talking about. He's like, no, 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 just show up to work, and we'll do it in front of this, like, backdrop. And it's similar to, it was a white sheet for a, when we take, like, um, okay. promotional photos in there. Word. And he was like, we're all black. And I did almost like what, what I'm wearing right now. And he yeah, was just like, take a look at that. So there we just go. did a little bit of the song in there that he could cut back and forth to between nice. between footage of him and his dog. Yeah. Okay. And he did a great job. He's a good editor, I think. He used to work in film, I believe, uh, local like news stations and things like that. Mm-hmm. So he, he got cool. a bunch of experience doing things there. And uh, I was like, man. Who's to be kid? honest, he slipped a little verse of his in. I was like, "Oh man, <laughs> messing my song up." Was oh, it? Was it the good one that made? Was it? Okay, I see now. Was it a good one that made the song actually work? No, but it was funny, and he, <laughs> he, deep down, it was because he kind of wanted to be a part of it, which is fine. I was totally fine with that. But I was like, "CJ, please let me just do your verse, and I'll, I'll produce it over the weekend, and then we can release this." And he's like, "No, we have to release this video now." <laughs> he was very. Uh, he's very adamant about it. Yeah, very third Reich about it. No, he, oh boy, I was, I, he oh, wasn't yeah. like that. He was being very supportive. I was expressing like issues, and then he finally got to this uh, verse where I was like, "That's good enough, man. It's stupid." And that's the only thing we're making this for is to make people laugh because it's so stupid. It's a rap song about his dumb dog. (laughs) By the way, Mr. Mr. President's his name, and he's a sweet boy. He's got Um, a new dog now? No, uh, it's his fiance's, but it's their shared dog. So Mm. he looks like a little, uh, we call him a humunculus. (laughs) He's just sort of falling apart, and it's funny to make songs about him. CJ sings these little... uh, melodies when he's at home to kind of bother his fiance like do, 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 or just when he's walking <laughs> around and so what he did is he would give me a prompt and i would take that and mix it into a song and then mm-hmm. i recorded rap lyrics to it as well mm-hmm. so he's usually the hook with his little song and then i'm just do, do a verse and then it goes back to him and it's a minute and 30 seconds perfect amount of time <laughs> that people don't tune out on the radio <laughs> um <laughs> Sounds like a neat uh, challenge. I think he really seems to enjoy them. It gives him some sense of like purpose. He's, no, he's just like <laughs> it. Probably feels really good having a dumb song about your dog. I don't know. Yeah. And I, here's the thing: I don't think they're all that great, but he likes them. Um, Emily, who is also on the show, seems to like mm-hmm. 
uh, Matt has complimented me, Matt Bearden, and I'm like, oh, I don't even – I, I have a hard time recognizing when I'm doing something good, I guess. So well, just, I'm like, <laughs> okay, we're going to put this dumb song on air. And they're like, right. whoa, awesome. And, uh, man, it's a lot of fun. Yeah. <laughs> I like working with CJ a lot. Nice. I like he's those a, challenges. He's Eat. a goof. And, yeah, it's actually yeah. fun to challenge myself mm-hmm. instead of just moping around and just right. putting things together for no reason, you know? Do you, <laughs> so you do music on the side as mm-hmm. well? Do you like make beats and make your own rap songs and stuff? I like make that? beats and stuff. I'm still working on how to how to flow. Rap good. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> I, can, I can flow better off right now, like the top of my head. Yeah, where you're where you're just kind of like free going on the your. The flow own is better, like even that. though the words don't make sense. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> where you have kind of like a general idea of where you want it to go. Yeah, I just where you a... could you're not necessarily going, but you're just going like a super deep da. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Body, ba, ba, da, ba, do. You know what I mean? Oh yeah. I do that shit all the time. It's so. called scatting. It is. Yes, yes, it is. You're scatting on the mic. Goodness, <laughs> COVID scat so all you, over this mic. What <laughs> programs do you use? That that well, sounded. All I use is uh, Adobe Audition and work. <laughs> oh, Adobe. that's all I got. I don't have enough money to okay. really afford anything on my own yet. Right. I'm trying to work there, but mm-hmm. so yeah, I just go in and I find a bunch of samples online and I piece them together. Nice. And then I've been Sweet. playing around with did... Audition and yeah. finding all these different ways I can alter the samples themselves mm-hmm. so it feels a little bit more like I'm not copy paste. You know what I mean? It feels weird, but you literally still are composing a song. It's just with a lot of other people's uh, elements. It's a lot of fun. What I used to do is I would take a sample and I would, I don't know if you have Virtual DJ or Serato or something like that. I do not. But you can get it. It's free, basically. And and it'll let you download whatever you want, like samples and shit. So you can fucking take a sample from a song and like put reverb and echo and reverse it or sweet sweet i was do slow it down speed it up you can do all yeah that's that stuff. exactly what i need something like that that and, i can at least plug in yeah. maybe and, and then program a drum machine at least or yeah. at the very least alter some of the uh um how fast it is the tempo B- yeah. bpm and you don't need a board for that or anything i used to just do it yeah. on, on my laptop R.I.P., okay. you know, man. But Sweet. <laughs> yeah, man, I'm very... Poor guy. Yeah, I used to have, like, some solid-ass beats on fucking my laptop, man. Yeah, I like to make weird stuff. I don't think anyone would like them. But then I, uh, sometimes I get yeah, random likes I on disagree. SoundCloud. Oh, do you have a SoundCloud? I do, and I'm not mentioning it yet. Uh, damn. Well, <laughs> uh, can I, can tell me off air, and then we're... Yeah, I just may. I just may. <laughs> um, we'll yeah. share SoundCloud accounts. I That's right. Sure, yeah. We just Why started not? playing right, some stuff. So, Why not? So Let's, like, what do so, we do here? What's next? So I was, <laughs> I'm scared. What are you doing to my camera? I'm used to going to a song. <laughs> oh no no, it just keeps going. All yeah, right, so I was so, gonna go off. So I like, can sing a song for you. No, thank you. Let's, let's save that for later. So uh, part of my weekend also was uh, you know trying to go out and uh, get a. Uh, I try and introduce myself to prospective future guests. Not that we don't like having you here. Well, got, got, can you believe he's bringing that late. up in the first 30 minutes talking about the next late. guest? It's too late. I'm already here. <laughs> <laughs> he already suckered me in. Uh, How'd you fall for it, man? I don't know. He's, he's no, been no, doing that hold to on, people. Hold on. I just so there'd a- be free drugs and stuff, and there <laughs> haven't been really any. <laughs> <laughs> I would say that. I mean... Connor's sweat. You should taste it. Oh, my God. What? Yeah. It's like a drug. I already had some earlier. <laughs> Not Connor's sweat. so my own. <laughs> so, the thing is, there's this uh, you, there's this uh, news and politics show I follow. They were having a live event here in Austin. They did it Friday night. Sweet. The, they were lucky to get a flight in on Wednesday that wasn't canceled. Right. And so, oh, wow. uh, you know, I pay to go to it, you know, take the opportunity like, I'll use the meet and greet to hand out uh, my show biz- my bi- business cards for this show. Sure. See, like, who knows? Maybe they'll chuck them after they I gave it to them. Maybe they'll actually consider it. That I don't know at this point. Right. But so the thing you is, didn't stand around and watch like from a bush. Oh gosh. <laughs> what, are they, what are they doing with my pamphlet or whatever it is? <laughs> or my, my no, no. We were in the uh, the Paramount Theater over on uh, Congress, South Congress. Oh, nice. Not South Congress. That would be North of the Isn't River. Isn't that? Or, well, it's, it's North Congress. of the River, so it's just Congress. Yeah, that's a pretty so, spot. So, uh, I was, uh, my ticket was up in the balcony. So, to get, so in the, the hallway, they have that area where you just got to go up to the second floor to get to that. But also, on the opposite side, on the second floor, is their uh, VIP section when they do uh, special stuff. 
So that was where they were having the meet and greet. Sure. And uh, the thing is, I did not know I had to pay extra to oh. uh, get a wristband. <laughs> so no. I just stood around acting like I belonged there. Yeah. And no one, like, no Did one was you wear a long sleeve at least so you could cover it. Uh, up. Hey, uh, pull, pull up the pull up the pictures. I pull up the first one with it's uh, right. Crystal and Sager and me. Let's so, see. Who? You, oh, Who's it's uh, the YouTube. Sh- you ever heard of Breaking Points? It's a news uh, and politics show. Uh, no, huh. no, I don't. I don't, don't really have it. Okay, that so anyway, familiar. that I used to watch Boiling Point on MTV. You know, remember that? That's what I thought I was talking about. <laughs> it was not good. That shit was funny. <laughs> it was ridiculous. I love that. Show. So you'll you'll see how I was dressed. But the thing is, no one was really bothering to check them. It was just sure. they had like five security guys to stay there just in case any uh, let's call them up close and personal fans showed up. You know, you got to keep those people away from getting a little too. Handsy with yeah, yeah, I'm with sure. Talents. I wouldn't know yet, but <laughs> so I just I just stuck around, went to the straight to the back of the line, like, oh, am I gonna be able to make this work? Is just like keep looking, like, okay, good, nobody's checking, you know, just fine. You got the uh, pictures ready? Uh, almost, almost there. Oh, oh so, yeah, I got it. <laughs> so yeah, go ahead, uh, pull it up for everyone to see. Here we go. I did get in there. Wow, that's oh, a, that's he Kyle was another Kulinski. guy there. Yeah, he was part of it. The tour. Uh-huh, uh-huh, he has his uh-huh. own show. Now, the thing is, I looked at these pictures right before I sent them to Jake. I, I I knew I wasn't the most photo looks ridiculous. I knew I wasn't the most photogenic person, but dear God, <laughs> I look like the special needs charity <laughs> case that got the free ticket to go in there. Oh man. Enhance. Yes. He's oh, got dear. a little Elvis, oh, a little Elvis Why does my on. why does the left side of my face always Dude. do that oh man my that's God, wild that's hilarious. the more you look at it you know he had bell's palsy Did he t- <laughs> <laughs> that's a serious condition go, go to the other picture let's see how i look oh, okay my okay God. oh dear god he's oh, smiling that's he's why he's out. smiling uh, joan rivers shout out in the background <laughs> i don't i didn't i don't have this one for that. looks uh, like you right before you eat yeah. Yeah. that's that's crystal ball yes oh, that's, okay that's her legal name yeah crystal ball crystal ball i'm guessing her parents were hippies okay i know her she oh that's that show is she what's that show she's on Breaking points. Okay, that's what breaking points is. Okay. Yeah, that's sorry. I do know what that is. Now. I can't remember okay, what that sorry. is. I'm gonna look news it and up. politics. Show. I'm look a lot more. They used to chummy. be on CNN or a lot something better. like that. She used to be on MSNBC, but MSNBC. they didn't like the way she was uh, criticizing the establishment, so they essentially booted her. I see. Okay. Whoa. And then her and Sagar got big over yes. on uh, the hill. Wow, where, uh, wow, live research. Yeah, the, what was the hill on? <laughs> yeah, he, he likes, likes to, to thank read. Drake here likes to thank of himself as our uh our Jamie. Man, <laughs> yes. Lots of subscribers. Wow. Oh, wait, what breaking was, a mill. What was, oh no, yeah. The thing is, like they start they started on their show they started a show called Rising over on the Hill, like says it right there on uh Wikipedia page. Yeah, but you knew that already. But yeah, what, I knew that. What's the hill though? What the hill, that? it's it's one of the more uh let's say uh uh, big name uh, established news sites and new in publishers. Yeah. Oh, okay. So they were able to avoid all the uh, crackdown on independent media because they were under the Hills umbrella at the time. So when know. YouTube was doing its whole adpocalypse thing and stuff and independent mm-hmm. uh, journalists and talk shows got a hit with lack of ad revenue, they just, just slid right under there. Yeah. And that's basically how yeah. they were able to get so big so quick. Not know that happened. Start, oh yeah. So I selling supplements too. That's I hear. That's no, what you gotta do. Mm. No, they don't sell supplements. I like me some supplements. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we know Supple. exactly what uh, your supplements oh, are. Supplements. I su- oh, no, no, no. there we go. I think that's I, an idea, right I there. I prefer supple nips. Oh, do you? <laughs> Can you supply them? <laughs> no, mine. Mine are pretty flat. All right, no product then. <laughs> I feel like that's what we should rename the Hershey's Kisses to. <laughs> <laughs> or just have a version that's like flat on the top. Her- <laughs> Hershey's nips. Hershey's oh nips. Instead yes. of a point, make it rounded. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> For people who like that's don't like such sharp edges. They're called <laughs> sexy kisses. I got some yeah, uh, yeah. Valentine's nips. Sex- yeah. I got some street knowledge for you. You guys, you got it. I do like yeah, this yeah, yeah. Right. Oh, they should Hershey have them kiss di- nips. Oh, yeah, yeah, there you go. They should have them in different sizes too. Mm. <laughs> Is that what you're talking about? <laughs> no, I was not talking. Well, no. Nah. Oh. But I like that. Uh, yeah, I like that. This is, is, is more thing. like a reverse. 
This is saying this is talking about nipples that yeah. are shaped Actually, like Hershey no. Kisses, which Wait, means hold on. an actual That's Hershey cool. nip would have to be a sex mm. candy. It's sold at like Spencer's in the back section where they sell all the I toys. haven't seen them there. <laughs> yeah. Well, you got your own store? No, no. Remember the first time you noticed that? Spencer's gifts, man. Mm. All the you kids going into the-, the mall. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't uh, know. Not in a long yeah, time. Good, good. They didn't always go to do Spencer's that. all the time. It's a wasteland. <laughs> that's the first time. That's the first place I saw. Dude, I think I went though. to a mall like a couple few years ago, and I don't know why. I don't remember why I was there, <laughs> but it felt very desolate. Oh. Uh, it was Lakeland oh. Mall for some reason. I don't know yeah. why. I really don't remember why I was there. I'm actually kind of. You went to go head up concerned. on the old ladies that walking around? No, but I'm like, growing concerned at this memory. It's like, was I really there or was it a dream? Right. <laughs> it felt very dreamlike because there was very few people and there's a security guard. <laughs> but it wasn't quite a post-apocalyptic feeling. Uh-huh. You right. know what I mean? Because stores were open. There's still some vendors and stuff, you know, selling cell phone cases or whatever in the middle <laughs> of the aisle. and. Did it feel like something was just about to pop off? Though? No, I was like, I felt like I just needed to leave. I don't remember why I was there. <laughs> like, I really don't remember the store I was going to for some reason. And it had to be a specific store I needed, I guess, in order to be there. Oh, oh, well. Like, oh well, sorry, I forgot the most important details. Mm. I already know that the stuff that ties it all shoe together. Palace. Maybe. Shoe actually. Palace is always <laughs> Maybe in the malls, and you always have to go there. Man, I have a hard time finding shoes. Maybe that's what it was. Yeah. Shoe oh, no, wait. Yeah. Now I remember the last time I went Are to you? a mall. It was just last year. It was, uh, okay, so I've told y'all about uh, last year I had a girlfriend in Mexico. Uh, that yes. was recently. Was, yeah, like, last year. Yeah. Okay. okay we'll Classic. Back. It wasn't a year ago. It was I said last, last year. year. It was yeah. during the summer. I got you. I got you. model? No. She, okay, cool. she was. Just, what she is was an a role model? That's for sure. That's just a fun thing to say. When and you're it was in just middle a, school, you know. <laughs> it was actually a pretty small compared to what we have here in America. It was like instead, it was just like one uh, row of, and everything was just on the side of that one giant hallway, basically. And we went to go see a movie there. Oh, you talking about in, a theater in Mexico? I, oh, yeah. I'm sorry, I missed what you're. I must have talked over you. Yeah, or they, they yeah. had a theater at the mall. That nice we went to. in Mexico. Oh yeah, we went to go watch Nope. It was in uh, in Spanish. Spanish. That's awesome. With wow. English subtitles. That's Pretty fucking cool. badass. But yeah. I I was not bothering watching the That's movie. Cool as fuck. Wait, but weren't you? Isn't there like what a were you big... all doing? Wait, were on. you interviewing her? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what's. Uh, <laughs> well, there wasn't a whole lot of talking. I'll say that. You're well, trying to get her on the podcast. What does that mean? <laughs> what does that mean, though? Would you like me to tell you or show you? Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. They say in writing it's better to show, not tell. <laughs> so you better show us. <laughs> I don't Although, know. I don't writing. think you want me to be filling you up on camera right now. I said show, not, not oh touch. My. Not. <laughs> no touch. That would be no showing. <laughs> I do not consent any longer. <laughs> <laughs> this podcast got turned. Mm. I mean, I had already seen the movie in English, so I knew where the lulls in the movie were, so. I knew exactly when to take my opportunity. Good, good, good. And still let her watch the, the important parts of the movie. Yeah. Okay. Mm. <laughs> Would you told you all kiss? Oh yeah. Nice. They Dude, can. it was right here. Yeah. Yeah. No nice. one on camera saw Kissing. that. Hell yeah. <laughs> it was just for you. And it, me. it was straight. Care. It was straight up <laughs> tongue action. Her beard on your face. That must mm. have been so nice. Yes. <laughs> no. She didn't have a beard, but I was hoping to get some hair on my face that night. Mm. Nice. Why are you looking at Chelsea? <laughs> do we have a <laughs> just ridiculous thing to say? <laughs> do we have a, oh, do I do I need to get, go more into detail? Okay, all right. <laughs> I might... was wanting to eat her out. Is that enough oh detail for you, God. Jake? All right, all right, all right. Uh, you're a zombie. Jesus. I was uh maybe for a this sound effect a... suggestion. You need a rim shot. I know that sounds sexual, but it's a ba bum. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> That you know, the, for the jokes. Yeah. For when people can't tell. Right. Let me pull up. <laughs> Start pressing buttons. I'm pulling up the notes and then I'm going to. No, everyone it. already knows that I have bad jokes. It's all right, yes. man. I'm, I don't even make jokes. I would, maybe I just did. I don't know what's going on. Do you, do you not know about uh, <laughs> me just, on, the, on the morning show on KLBJ FM? Oh, yeah. Sometimes I'm on there. I was thinking about going by for a visit. This may be coming up. Yeah. Yeah. So what, you know the, the you know the nickname they gave me over there. <laughs> what they give you, Connor the Cooler? Ah, oh. because my jokes are so bad that it. Re- oh man, so that's you. What it calls in? That's yeah, the, that's, that's me. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. And I so, uh, and so, uh, <laughs> that Bob uh, came up with that name because it's like he said it's like uh, when the casinos send down the guy to break up a hot streak at a table. 
and they they call him the cooler. Ah, oh, I see. Oh, I see. That and that's who you are. Well, hey, you're a character <laughs> man. That means they recognize you. I see. That's fine. Mm-hmm. You're good for lampooning. It's perfect. <laughs> <laughs> no, seriously, they, they do appreciate callers like that because they're like, ah, uh, we need someone to beat up on. Exactly. This special needs guy is good enough. <laughs> Well, they don't know how you look. Or, you oh, no. They, oh, no, they know how he Yeah, looks. they know how he looks. They know how he looks. I have oh, described man. him on there. I went in there for an audience of one. I know, but oh, nice, I think nice, I pre- nice. I, th- I still think it gave a pretty good description. Oh, no, they loved it when you called in to say that we're sponsored by the Gerber Grow Up Plan. I still think we That's should. That's right. We, wow. we should show in you our the new, comparison. And our new sponsorship, welcome adult diapers. Welcome adult <laughs> diapers to our new sponsorship. Man. For 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 drunk babies. Yes, drunk babies. That's right. Y'all ever thought about legit just getting some diapers and? Yes, that's what, what? I, I said. That I said like, I want to get diapers and Gerber and just put them in the background. Well, I mean, like adult diapers, <laughs> yeah. just for the Depends. weekends or something, so yeah. you don't have to, you know, you don't have to do anything. Oh, you're saying wear them? Yeah. <laughs> Not stylish or anything, just under your clothes. Yeah. Practical. I I put them on when I'm tripping. Yeah, do you really? <laughs> yeah, of course. It's most practical. Well, I don't know, man. Have you sense. ever thought that, like, you're like, why am I wet? Where? Do you just get so high you wet yourself? I mean, when you're tripping, you don't know. Like, there are times. You don't know how to use no, the bathroom like, anymore? No, so, like, what your your nerves are so, like, uh, on edge or whatever. So, like, you'll, like, be like, why are my hands wet? And they're not actually wet. It's just your yeah. nerves are so, like. Uh, what's stimulated? Yeah, there yeah. You go. All I'm saying yeah. is I don't want to have to get up and pee <laughs> when I'm in bed, <laughs> and I want it to be okay. I want my bed to be okay. That's fair. Uh, you use a pan, right? There's so many Just mornings. Like, well, I think you might. Well, what if it seeps through? Well, that's not gonna if I get the right design. <laughs> yeah, you, gotta you know get, what I mean. You gotta get huggies. I don't know, you know if that what is mean? yet. I've barely started any research. <laughs> let's, let's, <laughs> Today's well, the first day of announcement. Huggies, adult diapers. <laughs> you want to be prepared for when the trip goes bad and you start seeing the demons and they make you shit yourself. Well, oh. I mean, look, uh, there's two types of people that need to wear diapers <laughs> in our society. It's one is astronauts. <laughs> yes. And two is obviously, you know, you know, people. <laughs> yes. I want to bring in a third uh, type of people. It's just people who don't want to get up. Just get, yeah. <laughs> people who. <laughs> You sit on the couch and you say, this is what I'm doing this weekend. Well, no, I mean from sleep because I, I don't sleep oh, well. Sleep. Oh. So when I do fall asleep and then I got to fucking take a piss. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, you can just pee there. I see. That's what yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, okay. And, I, and then I can go like roll back to sleep because I'm just going to be wet in this one area. And it's not on my bed. <laughs> God, like, Come on, man. Not- <laughs> that's disgusting, man. Hey, you're the one who brought it up. I mean, I would do it. It's, I mean, it makes sense. Yeah, but the more I keep talking about it in jest, I'm like, wait a second, maybe I do have a point. <laughs> it, it, there's because a point, I re- there's I, a point to this. Because I really don't want to get up. It's, I do obviously get up and go to the bathroom. Exactly. Like, you have to do that. Yeah. And the, ne- the other step would be just peeing in a bottle. I'm yeah, like, that's, that's gross, gross, too. And I, I might accidentally spill it. And it's poo- I, Who knows how I mean, long it, this bladder's been building up. Maybe <laughs> i got to use two bottles. Mm-hmm. I feel you. I it's understand. Too much, it's too much thinking I have to do. And yes. I have to pee. Yeah, exactly. So you should just let it. It should be able to go to sleep and just let it be able to flow. Yeah. And this should be a yeah. normal thing. I agree. It, wetting the bed is not a problem. I mean, I think it's literally a way that your body will wake you up if you can't wake up anywhere else. It just I, starts peeing. Yeah, You're exactly. Like, uh, because I have sleep app, and I think that's probably okay. what causes some dribbles sometimes. You know, when was when... <laughs> I thought sleep? I thought that was uh the breathing issue. Yeah, uh, you, my body like I'm stopping breathing, so it's trying to like wake me up to start breathing again. But it makes uh, you wet yourself too. Mm, not all the time. Usually, it's when I'm drunk as fuck. <laughs> Sorry. Here, I didn't ask. Are we allowed to cuss? I, yeah, yeah. yeah it, it's yeah. just Twitch. Yeah. It, we will only have issues when we put this up on YouTube. I, I think had, you can cuss on YouTube. You just I can't a, say it's no, good for kids, which is fine with me. Well, and, and I really, I mean, it probably would have been okay if I didn't go into detail about urinating and stuff. And <laughs> that's the least way. That's it is. life. Well, that's true. I mean, I wasn't making it a fun, exciting. I guess I was. It was pretty exciting. I wasn't making I mean, it. Yeah, wait. I thought this was a genius idea. <laughs> not wait to pee myself. I was in like, those. we're changing. We're evolutionary right but now. But at the same time, I can just imagine it sucks. Mike, I don't think your girlfriend wants to wake up every, you every morning while you're wearing a diaper. She's changing diapers already. It doesn't matter. Well, here's the thing. You just double up just in case. Just, just double up, yeah. <laughs> Get an extra big pair to put all over the, uh, the smaller pair. Yeah, boom. <laughs> what? I don't what, know. what do you need a bigger pair for? Well, the, the, that's the that's the doubling up. That's why if you're you worried pre- about leakage, you get the smaller, <laughs> tighter pair to keep all it in, and then you get the double pair. Oh, I thought it was... To ensure that you're entirely safe, and also 
look even more like a big baby. <laughs> Speaking I thought, of, I thought it was too. <laughs> oh. I, I thought you. Yes. Were, I thought you were saying. <laughs> Good God! Now, now I now I can't tell my joke. <laughs> Why not? That was adorable. That's not you, is it? <laughs> no. <laughs> Man, I see why they chose that baby. That's very, very fucking photogenic. hilarious. Yes. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> oh, that right, was we, funny. We've talked number one. You want to get into number two? <laughs> yeah. Actually, that does tie into what I wanted to bring up. Bring up that third picture I sent so, you. When, when this will get. This will help us tie into uh, some Valentine's Day stuff coming up. All right. All right. Bringing it up. While he's so this that is something I saw on uh, Facebook uh, just the other day. I thought it'd be great to bring in for this episode. You got what it pulled it? up. There we go. No, 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 not the article. Go back. <laughs> oh my there god! Was a third, Wrong thing. There was god a, damn it! There was a third picture I sent you. I wanted to read that. I didn't. We'll get to. <laughs> we'll, we'll get to that. <laughs> okay, cool. Okay, but, I'll, I'll cool, see if I cool, can cool. find it. I don't see a third thing. Oh, that's funny. Yeah, I should have sent you the picture before that I got, article. I got two in. pictures, an article, and that's it. Oh, what the. Yeah, how did no. that not come up? I like, I like how to. Oh you God, can damn. Tell no. Very organized. Very well, organized. I swear I sent you the picture. <laughs> damn it! Uh oh, it's right. Uh-oh. Oh. oh no! All right, well let's let's go back to the article then. It still ties into our whole uh, <laughs> our whole uh, <laughs> uh, cartoon noises uh, mm-hmm. Valentine's Day. Uh, so I thought this would be funny to bring in yeah, girl Chris. looking for a date decided to be her own wingman. How is that possible? Let's scroll down. Wow. So I, I went ahead, uh, skimmed over this right before right, sending right, it over to Jake. Right, 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 Turns right, out what she do. does is she oh, just goes up to the guy, says, uh, okay. hey, my friend over there thinks you're cute. And then when he turns to look at the spot she's pointing to, she goes to stand in the spot. That's brilliant. Oh, okay. Oh. That is brilliant. I was just thinking, like. Do you think that would work? Yes. Uh, according to this, she was getting a uh, She was getting replies from people that said it works. Like, they. Have done similar things. Mm. I no. totally believe it. It's a it's a uh, icebreaker. Yeah, it's it's yeah. funny. Yeah, now it's let's brilliant. all start doing let's it. Do and it. Ruin it. Let's do <laughs> it. <laughs> let's drive it to the ground. Dang, that, was, that girl's got game. <laughs> hey, <laughs> some, some, yeah, for real, that girl does have game. Some of <laughs> us have a little bit of trouble doing it in person. Yeah, you know, I from think, what I hear yeah, on the yeah. show, they make a lot of jokes about your trouble, Spencer. Do they? I don't ever hear that. <laughs> That's, I guess it's behind my back. I can't. What'd you just pull up here? Yeah, I like oh, it. Shit. This is Ghost Rider Sorry. playing That's guitar. That's our copyright free music right there. Ghost Go Rider playing guitar. Beautiful. Welcome to mm. Porn Rock. What? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. Listen, listen. Why did you call it Porn call Rock? It. Because this is what they play in the background of porns back in like, I don't know, early 2000s. What? Skeletons? I don't remember this in the background of any porn You never video watched ever like... I, didn't have Skinamax or HBO <laughs> or whatever? No, I just went on to RedTube, okay? Oh, my God. Talk about the viruses. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> well, my computer was doing just fine. If anything, it was at risk of me getting it too sticky. Oh, my God. Oh my What's a RedTube, okay. okay? All right. Wait, hold, wait. what did you just ask? You know, is that, that it's uh, like a website or something? It's like Pornhub. You didn't, a... you, you Pornhub, didn't know about RedTube back in the day? before Pornhub. No, I knew Redbox. Is it similar to that? I think uh, it is similar. <laughs> uh, in a way, but yeah, that it was basically it. Red Tube was Pornhub before Pornhub. Mm. Okie dokie, was it? Um, HD? Oh, mm, no, probably not. No, no, no. no. but not that it matters. Like right, I do, right above VHS. I do remember <laughs> back when. Uh, bef- I remember what it was like even before Red Tube, where it was just so there was this one. It was called Search Vids, and. It didn't have the images or anything. It would just like list out all the categories you wanted to look through. Click on it. It would just list everything out, and it looks like Craigslist basically. Oh, nice. And you just click on it, and it would take you to like anywhere from three to eight uh, ten second clips yes. nice. of the scene. Beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. Ten second clips is what I'm looking for. Yeah. Me too. That's all. Just I need. replay. That's all I just you find the right clip. You're like replay. Oh goodness. Replay. Nice. Yeah. Yes. Replay. 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 Oh. They, don't have, oh, they don't have a fucking nice. loop button. <laughs> they didn't back no, then. Not, no, back, not then. back then. I don't it think was like so. when when what was it? Was that? <laughs> oh my god! I don't remember the. It was like real player or something. Or <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. There you go. <laughs> or quick time. So or this something. is like it's all on Flash. Do you remember oh, what Flash? flash? Mm-hmm. Yes, I remember. You can zoom that in stuff. that shit. Right click it. Uh, mm-hmm. The thing is, I always had to wait for uh, for uh, my family to leave. 
get out the house. Oh, uh, you didn't have your own computer? <laughs> oh, no. It was always uh, it was the family computer. Yeah, I get oh, it. Oh, my God. You fuck, your dad was probably like, what the fuck? <laughs> no, no. We <laughs> had <laughs> so many viruses. Dude, I no, no, I was... riddled my dad's computer with viruses. <laughs> nice. It was, yeah. it was, I did it. Yeah. And if I couldn't wait for uh, everyone to be it. out of the house, it was, it was upstairs, so it, I had enough uh, time to... To click off of stuff if I heard anyone coming up the stairs. Oh my! God. But I would keep my pants on and just like just rub over the pants. Oh, That's wise. Right. Yeah, no. We're gonna That's have to wise. we have to huh? zoom in. So you came inside your pants. They're gonna get a Michael lot. all hot and bothered wow. again. I like that. <laughs> That's clever. <laughs> See <laughs> another reason. For so is that what you were, Hold on. Is that what you were doing last week? <laughs> no, that Yo, is not what I was doing. Do. The same thing. No, last I, week. I, I no, I was putting pressure on my prostate because it hurt like hell. Wow. Mm. Yeah, that's how it sounds. Pleasure. Just sound I like it when my sexual. girl puts pressure on my prostate. <laughs> what? <Right. laughs> oh dear God Almighty! Damn it! Why can't? <sighs> Son of a it. bitch! Screw it! I can't! I can't! I'm not gonna be able to. It, it won't let me share the uh, the funny condom picture. Oh, Here, sh- uh, just give it to me. I'll put it in front of my camera. That's worrisome. Boom! All right, I'll set it up. Me, Unless uh, it's being blown into a balloon, I don't know if we would need to see it. Finger <laughs> condoms. Unless you know. I, ha- I think so we have some like, in this house. Plus it's a QR code. code we it. got some downstairs. Yeah? <laughs> yeah. Finger condoms. I gave a finger it, condom? I gave uh, it to my buddy for uh, to use his real condoms nice, for nice. Christmas. Must be tight. For his birthday. <laughs> Not for him. So the There you go. <laughs> Too big. I, th- I think it's a joke uh, poster someone made. It's Gosh. a joke Valentine's Day. That's wow. Joke. What is that? That uh, is a picture whoa, of hold a on. toddler. Okay. Pooping. Who has smeared shit all over his room oh, from nice. his diaper? That's says, go back up to no. Put, bring it. Durex would like to remind you it's Valentine's Day soon. Oh, <laughs> how, oh, we, God. how do we know he didn't get into the pudding? Yeah, that's pudding, man. <laughs> yeah. Well, his diaper's off. He just it's gets all naked. over his hands. <laughs> Dude, don't you get we naked after s- pudding? It says Durex. That's funny. I mean, I would get naked if I ate that much pudding. <laughs> yeah, like life so is much good. pudding that I just got all over the room. <laughs> Tripping, yeah, yeah, pudding. Yeah, yeah. I would be sick. I'd be like, I'm probably going to crap myself. Have you ever had Qdobo? <laughs> That's what happens after you eat Qdobo, dude. That's oh. probably after the pudding came out. Oh, wow. Well. <laughs> Dude, I remember in middle school. In middle school. You they, did that? No, this kid. Uh, I wasn't there. Like, I w- not that I was in the. I wasn't there in the restroom. I was like in my class where I was supposed to be. Huh. And this mm-hmm. kid. That, that, the yeah. surprising thing is you were in class. That's what I'm saying. Wow. So, <laughs> anyways, this kid went to the restroom and I guess he fucking. Shit in his hand. Nice, good and catch. He fucking put it on the, all over the wall. Oh, never, and he, never mind. And, <laughs> yeah, he put it like on the wall and in the urinal and like fucking. I guess he put like the rumor is that he put death to Walter on. The, <laughs> nice. Oh my on god. The, the that's a was that a wall. was and that a specific person? In yeah, school? that's the custodian. That was. The oh. Custodian. And yeah. I was, what did he do? The, he was cried. I saw a grown man cry. He was like, I'm not cleaning that well, up. Maybe he's like, he's going to give up my secret. <laughs> <laughs> that kid knows something about Walter. Oh, my God. You think so? Is maybe that Maybe Walter it, was legally I, gambling I, at, in the evenings at school. Oh he walked in get, An illegal dice ever, game in the halls. Did you have a dice game at your high school? No, no, no. I did. I did. They, of course you did. It was, well, it was a small one. It was just for shits and gigs. Yeah. I don't think anyone, How much money did you lose? Uh, or did you bet in bubble gum? I lost like five bucks, but I mean, like that was only because like I was like, keep going, keep going, and then I was like, I <laughs> that's, don't how, know. that's how it gets you. Yeah. But I also <laughs> didn't know how to. I don't know how to play fucking. Uh, what's it called? Uh, craps. No, no four square. Know, is it craps? <laughs> yeah, it's yeah I don't know square. how to play craps. I know sevens and elevens are good, but other than that, I don't know. I don't know. It's funny. What? We all grew up with this, this internet. We can search these things for them. We don't. Oh, I love it. I never know. <laughs> what is that, huh? I really want to get into gambling, but I feel like I would suck at it. <laughs> it's yeah. fun. You're, I don't think you're in a position to get a gambling addiction. No, that's the thing. That's where they get you. Because I, like, I am so hopeful that I yeah. could get money. No way. Yeah, that's never. the issue. The only time I ever won was on like uh, computers in Vegas. DraftKings. Blackjack wow. computers. So you're just playing against the computer. You, you think, <laughs> I think I know enough about baseball that I could do something about DraftKings. think so? Mm. Yeah. That's what a lot of other gambling addicts say. Yeah, yeah that's fair. True. <laughs> you see that movie uh, with Adam Sandler? I end, up, I end up like losing a mortgage on a house that I don't know. <laughs> <show like that. laughs> you need to watch Uncut Gems. That's You'll end up God. losing wow, I Jake's loved, house. That's my favorite movie. I love that movie. <laughs> well, he gambled hard. <laughs> I love that movie, but he won in the end. Like so, I, I would, you know, oh, yeah. that's more of a rarity than you'd imagine. Like I've only been to Vegas once. 
I specifically only spent three hundred bucks on uh, blackjack. I would love. I to considered it my. I, I I didn't. I lost it all. I just considered it like, oh, this is my fee to yeah, play I the game. Found it. <laughs> the price of. Uh, I would love to go to Vegas. That'd fun. be tight as fuck. <laughs> but that's yeah. I expect uh, when I go to Vegas to spend at least a couple hundred, maybe just gambling for fun. I don't expect to win it, but every time I do win it, it, it extends my my playing time. So. <laughs> yeah. Obviously, don't try to throw it all away at once. Right. Hit, hit the pennies, penny slots, dime slots, or whatever first. Get yeah. some drinks in you. All the free drinks. And then, keep them coming. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Just they keep don't, playing they with don't the do same. That as often I would anymore. play roulette, I think. I put everything on yeah. black. Oh, Let's gosh. Go. Roulette. That's what Chewie does. The first <laughs> When we first show up, he'll put like a 20 spot down yeah. on a black or a red, maybe. Or a hundo. Yeah. I can't remember what he did last time. Yeah, that's what I would do. I'd put 100 on <laughs> yeah. black. See, see how the night takes me. Obviously, you're probably going to lose, but. Oh yeah. yeah. How does that man have money for shoes? I don't know, man. Can I you? Think he's got a lot more uh, live reads now, live spots. Can mm. you put a little extra moolah? Can you put money on red and black? No, I don't uh, think. So. Does it work like that? I mean, so, you, you probably could, but it's like why? Because because you're gonna just lose. Because you're still gonna lose, and you're, you're only gonna break even. I'm not sure they would even allow it. I've never played roulette. I've just watched. They'd probably I'm just. I've never you- gambled. So. No? They probably oh, just give you a, other than school. Other than school, <laughs> they probably you just give I mean? you a dirty look. It's like, what the fuck are you even doing here? <laughs> <laughs> hit me, There's sir! You're at twenty. That. Hit me. <laughs> oh, we're sir. We're about to hit you for wasting our time. <laughs> Man, those dealers though, they're real serious, bro. Oh, yeah. You can't do anything out of line. <laughs> I remember I was playing my first live blackjack game with people and an actual dealer. I forget there was one thing. Oh, I was like, I like to play with my uh, chips sometimes. It's fine to play with your, your reserve, but I was starting to play with the stuff that I had cast a bet. Yeah. He was like, don't do that. He was like some German dude or something. Don't do that. He was trying to teach me uh, not to do that because it would look like I might be changing my bet up yeah. after bets have already been placed. Stuff oh, like that. Wow. Yeah. So okay. he was being very stern, but also like teaching me because I was clearly an effing noob. <laughs> I, yeah. and I was like, dude, thanks a lot. Here's a couple extra for you when I left. But uh-huh. yeah, it was, oh man, if. Don't step out of line. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I see. You know, there's I a... think he was getting a little upset with me later because I was getting a little drunk, too. Getting a little... <laughs> and you're just getting a little like, yeah, yeah. It's I mean, so still fun. Won, still won 140 yep. bucks. Nice. There's, a, there's, a, there's a couple of uh, tricks to uh, try and uh, to, uh, use what you, to take it. It's like it's not illegal. It's just like some tricks you can use to play better. Yeah. So like well, the when only you're, when you're seated in a certain like seat, for example, there are, there are different options you would take. You want to but go uh, on? I'm sorry. Yeah. You well, for, that's uh, one yeah. of the things I did learn from these guys sitting next to me. That's the best part is you can all like trade. You know. No. Yeah. That tips was the, the tricks. But. That was the thing I learned when I went to Vegas the one time is that when it comes to blackjack, try and be the guy or the person that gets the first set of like is right. Get the dealer deals to first. Yeah. Yeah. Because you're most likely going to get the uh, the best hand. No, that was so, uh, I sat next to that guy, so I had a different strategy than than just a normal one on one blackjack game. Mm-hmm. So people kept telling me that, and I was like, I don't, I don't, I don't effing know. It was my first time playing with a row of people. It was fun though. Right. Sat next to a dude randomly who was from Dallas. <laughs> I was like, Oh, I'm from Austin, Texas. <laughs> He's like, Cool, man. He's he didn't have an accent. He was from Dallas. So uh-huh. he was just like, Here's some tips. I was like, Thanks, bro. Uh, and I won some stuff, so it was good. I usually go down about two hundred a day or so. Yeah, a day. Like, or when you're you in Vegas. come here and back. That's that's my my how much I'll spend over I, there I'll the whole time. Plane. I thought they bring me free drinks all day, you know. So <laughs> well, whatever. That's the best part. Sometimes the two hundred will last the whole weekend, and, but I'm so, just kind of having fun. Do you fun. just chill so, at the slots, or what do you? No, do? I do blackjack. I love it. Oh, so awesome. I start getting all weird juju and Blackjack's stuff. Blackjack's yeah. fun. I like do you it. win? Do you, sometimes, I, yeah. Sometimes I go up. Is it like a good feeling when you win? I bet I would so be like fun. yes. I would it's get like so pumped up. It's just like Mike, twenty bucks. It's like doing drugs. Like the same uh, chemicals get yeah, shot to your I'd brain. Like, Hell yeah! I'd be like, I'm good at this. <laughs> like, you gotta know when to like double down when you have opportunities. Oh, yeah. And oh yeah, that's splitting that, the deck. Split. No, that's what I was about to get into. Because I would do that sometimes. Two aces. So, split so those. there's only yeah. there's only two times you want to split on a blackjack, and it is when you have a uh, two eights or two aces. Those are your best opportunity to get a good cards or a good hand. Two eights, two eights or two aces. Oh, and you split the deck. Is that? What and you you split them, and now you have two. Yeah. And those are your oh, best 18. options yeah. to get a good hand out. Okay, I see. All right, let's go to Vegas, boys. Math. Yeah, Wait, did Who you say you thought played, math is useful? Did you play five <laughs> card poker? Is, did you say that? Oh, or? I never actually joined the poker games. I was okay. I was a bit too nervous. I've only played private games with friends, and okay. I don't know the exact rules. Right. I, I, I just was, stick I was with scared. Yeah. 
I was yeah. I was nervous to be honest. So. We we got to have our own poker. Are the strip clubs yeah. out there fucking better or are they? Oh, I didn't go. I was like, I'm not I'm not wasting money on that. Yeah. Like, so, <laughs> do that anytime, you know. Yeah, anyway. fifty bucks for a been. dance. Uh, no, I don't nah. think so. I don't think I've been to one in Vegas. There's not a raunchy one. Like, I was like, wow. look, if I'm going for what a do you show, mean not a raunchy? All strip clubs are raunchy. No, there's some are uh, raunchier than the others. I think. Oh yeah. What I'm saying is they're all raunchy. By design. Where's Mike. the brothel at? It's in Reno. No idea. Yeah, I mean it's it's, not, a, it's yeah. outside of it's that far north. The Bunny Ranch. Uh, bunny is ranch. that what it's called? Yeah. No there's way. only one the of bunny them. Ranch. There's only one of them. I'm yeah. not sure. Oh, okay. No idea. Didn't go there. <laughs> it's uh, on the other side of the state. They don't even have dispensaries on the strip for illegal weed. It's, it's like off the strip. I don't think there were some laws or something. Oh, okay. Uh, you know, it's I technically know. All illegal. All the money was like, no, the big business was like, no. It's no. technically illegal to have uh, hookers inside the cities. I see. Okay. So that's why they're outside of Reno. Excellent. Oh, I see. okay. I see mm-hmm. Excellent. Awesome. Out in the country. Excellent. I like it. <laughs> I don't know if I would go there. <laughs> Sounds scary. Yeah, sounds it, scary. It does sound scary. I don't know if I would go either, but it's, just, a, it's interesting that I would. Maybe I'd go for a visit and like get a tour or something. They, you, <laughs> you, you take a mean? picture outside. You're, you're like, like, we were established in 1998 or something. Yeah, that's <laughs> oh cool. This is the uh, the den mother or whatever they're called. The yeah. maid, the madam, matron, Ma- the ma- maiden, yeah. the yeah, madam, uh, madam. Uh, just what's a N- Nevada name? <laughs> <laughs> madam Johnson. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah. <laughs> that's, a good one. Yes. that's a good one for her. Yeah. Yeah, hey, you just sit work. at the bar and they try to uh, talk you into getting a room with them. I'm like, nah, I'm not interested. It's I'm just here for the drinks. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. I like all to, bunch of expensive liquor. And I like <laughs> to people watch. <laughs> <laughs> like, look at that tiny cowboy. There's a tiny cowboy coming in. <laughs> wow, <laughs> where's he from? I wonder. <laughs> oh, nice choice, buddy. Yeah, go get it. Her, it. <laughs> that that was her, the it. guy from yeah. Dallas you sat next to, wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> no, he was not a tiny cowboy. He's an average sized gentleman. <laughs> <laughs> I do remember uh, when we went to. Did you guys? You had, Chewy was in here. I don't know if y'all talked about his fight night at all. In uh, it came up. Yeah. We just we talked about we mentioned it a little bit. bit. Called him to the champ. The announcer for that fight was this tiny cowboy. He was like <laughs> five foot six or something. That's funny. Dressed nice, had a nice big white cowboy hat on, and of course a booming voice. Let's get oh, ready yeah. to you know. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. That, but, hey, Mike, didn't you go to watch that fight? No, I actually I worked late that night, so I couldn't go. Oh, we were proud of him. We were proud of him. Yeah. But I called in he won. that day. He won. <laughs> yeah, that's why he's technically undefeated. Yeah, I yeah. Like, that's he's the undefeated do champ. Yeah. <laughs> Is he ever gonna? Do you talk about getting back into it? Do another so. fight? He's been thinking about it, but he hasn't mentioned it recently. Okay. So well, I'm not sure. For his big comeback, he sh- we should try. Someone should try to arrange arrange him to fight with Mike Tyson. That'd be pretty. No, I don't been, want him to die. I've been trying to get him. I've been trying to get him to fight Bobby Bones since fucking <laughs> three years now. He needs to fight like his equal, like Lunchbox, essentially. <laughs> show equal. Lunchbox is, is sort of the sidekick. <laughs> uh, who's who would, that? Who's the other guy that? I don't know. That uh, <laughs> I don't remember. Any. What's his name? Todd. Uh, the guy that Todd no Jeffries. Yeah, is Bob. Uh, Get Bob to fight Todd Jeff, <laughs> and then we get Chewy to fight Bobby Bones. That yeah, Bob, be... Bob v. Todd in a bowling match would be pretty cool. I bet. Oh, that'd be cool. I want to go bowling. No, again. now head I want to head bowling. Yeah. No, no, now I want to see them box each other. Bob and Todd have to box. Mm, I don't know about that. I don't want them to hurt each other. The, the, I feel like Bob's got a lot, like a long, a lot of just unreleased oh, rage. Yeah. <laughs> never really shows it, you know. <laughs> Uh, that that rage is probably me always calling in to talk shit to him. <laughs> Sounds like it whenever I hear him talk when you call in. He's like, oh. I'll oh, you're that. listening now? Well, you you show me the clips. Uh, oh, yeah. I thought you said you were listening now. Uh, when you when you send me the clips, yeah, check it uh, out. No, I, He's yeah. like, I'm your friend. I, yeah, I do these things when you ask me to. <laughs> I, I check out the content you send me. <laughs> <laughs> and I my radio is messed up in the car, so I can't even, can't oh, even do man. that. So it's, it's stuck on 93.7? It's stuck on off. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have some code. That... Rest, rest in peace. I know. <laughs> I'm not ready to throw the cash. No, no, yeah. My, my car's the same. I just have like a uh, burnt out. Uh, I think it's I have a burnt out. Uh, what's it called? I just, I, I was looking. I, I knew the word for it yesterday. It's a uh, spark plug. Oh, wow. I, have a, I have a burnt out spark plug. Yeah, prob- so. Most likely. Hmm. So back during the pandemic, when it first started, uh, so it, this was also back when we didn't have Wi-Fi at my place. 
So I would uh, dial Stone up Age. Just no internet. Or just no internet. No, oh. no one could afford it. Wow, you could afford it. <laughs> yeah, you could get pricey. Okay. So uh, uh-huh. what I would do is oh, up in Hutto where I live. Uh, oh, okay. Because okay, it's out in the country. Okay, sorry. It's not out in the country. We're not. We're. Is we Hutto, live, not the country. Not anymore. Oh, well, sorry. Yeah, it's really developed. I got a buddy that moved out there. Okay. So what I it's would do. It's developing. So oh. what I would do is after work. I would uh, just go, so they have a uh, Hutto convenience store up there mm-hmm. attached to a Whataburger. Mm-hmm. Nice. And so uh, class, I, class act. the convenience store is the one with the Wi-Fi. Mm-hmm. You know, every HEB store has a has Wi-Fi on it. And for some reason, they it all, you know, I just had to log into one store and then I have access to every store. Welcome to the club, man. And so essentially, VIP. I would just sit in my car after work. Just hooked up to the Wi-Fi because they w- the people over at Whataburger wouldn't let me sit inside. Oh mm. man, why not? Because you weren't eating. <laughs> oh, I would have. They just didn't want anyone in the. S- if you wanted to get food from them, you had to uh, go through the drive-through. Uh, oh, because it was COVID. during COVID. Yeah. yeah. COVID. Silly man, I forgot that part of the story already. <laughs> I don't know. I was just messing with the mic and got distracted. <laughs> <laughs> so for like, uh, I keep doing this for like. Four, uh, so, no, I was about to get myself distracted too. Uh-oh. So this oh, one there time, go. it's really ADHD. easy. Let's, get, uh, let's yeah. do it. Let's so do this it. one time, I st- it was a Friday night, so I basically ended up just sitting out there till midnight. Nice. Mm-hmm. That's, that's how long it takes you to finish. <laughs> <laughs> Using the internet, of course. You you joke, but so far my record for going the longest is oh, okay. four hours. Why would you do that long? It was a very good story I was reading. Oh, nice. <laughs> you, got, you got into the uh, literature, huh? Oh, I see. What were Going you reading? I don't remember. It was that long ago. You were reading something you wrote, huh? No. <laughs> I I was not that. I am not that good of a writer. Ah, oh, damn. Okay. Mm-hmm. Well. And so. Uh, Thanks. For, I mean, you can't remember. You're not going to share. You were work- what, No, I can't. Wait, what you, what okay. were you reading? I don't remember. I just remember. Sh- were you was- reading Fifty Shades of Grey? No. Because that's a good book. I'll take your word for it. No, I was just reading some uh, random thing. Hell yeah. That some it wasn't random... even sexual. You're just like, oh, God, this prose is amazing. <laughs> Good housekeeping. Nice. Uh, <laughs> such natural writing. It doesn't seem like they used a thesaurus. <laughs> uh. I love it. But no, such I was a story, such good pacing. <laughs> <laughs> Kept me enthralled for four and a half. <laughs> Hours. Oh my god, my side is hurting. Oh, I'm sorry, man. Is that the hell thing? Or <laughs> no, it's just like, are we if, having fun? Is that what's happening? If, yeah. If I laugh hard enough, my stomach we have fun here. So we have fun here. We have fun here. We do. So, but if I want to take, if I wanted to take care of that, I just go into the bathroom, use the Wi-Fi in there. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> and so uh, it's midnight, but to keep my phone charged, I'm using my car battery. Yeah. And I decide, like, oh, I say I should just head home now, go to bed. And uh, my my battery's dead. Yeah, sure. <laughs> uh, so I was lucky enough that there was someone there to uh, jump. Pull, to give me a jump. But yeah. the problem is with my car, I don't know who the fucking idiot was that designed uh, the the setup for the battery. Because you know that uh, thing they put on top of the positive side to that little cover they do. I do. I've seen. Well, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, absolutely. The problem with my Kia Optima is that. It's black with a little red plus sign on it, um, and so when you when it's complete dark in the in the, at the middle of the night, and I just saw like it was black, like oh I guess they switched it up a little bit. Plus your eyesight's all messed up from looking at blue light on the, <laughs> the thing, and you just stepped down to natural light. It's confusing. Yes. So essentially, I'm on I, your side. This I crisscrossed. Oh no. Positive and negative with each other, Uh-oh. and I only took it off uh, soon enough because the guy next to me was like. Dude, I think it's smoking. Like, oh, sh-. just pull him off right away. He's like, I, t- I take another. I pull, I pull out my phone, turn on the flashlight. He's like, son of a bitch. Nice. I've designed this was a fucking idiot. Mm-hmm. And so just put him on, right? Turns out it just oh, blew man. the spark plug. And now I haven't been able to use the radio for a few years. Oh, man. Years. Oh. Like I said, it was near the beginning of uh, COVID. Do you bring a speaker in there? Like a little Bluetooth? No. Oh. I don't That's have a, radio in there. You don't stream us? You can stream it. No. Cablejfm.com or on Spotify. That's a natural on just my just phone. I, Only I, when I wanted to show them some clips. You don't oh, have yeah. the KLBJ Especially, app? I didn't even know they had an app. I just go yeah. straight to the they website. Have an app? Yeah, it's new and improved. Mm-hmm. It's also you got an integrated app. stream right Apple from the app. And yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Same Great. thing for my, my other station, 101X. That's right. Really? 
and ACL Radio. Mm-hmm. So, uh, did CJ design those two? I hear I he's no y'all's idea. tech guy at the company. Is he? <laughs> I really don't know what he does. I have no idea what he does anymore. He's just your boss. He is kind of. I, I tell him that, and he's like, no, I'm not. I'm like, yeah, you are, though. Kind of. <laughs> Look, if he yells at you to get stuff done a certain way. He does, and I was joking earlier. <laughs> when, I call, when I called him third right, because I, I had a feeling <laughs> he's probably going to listen a little bit. Oh, was, don't worry. I'll tag him when I put this <laughs> when I put this up somewhere. Well, he knew I was coming in here, too. I told him earlier this week. And then, like, what he did one morning when I went over to uh, Matt and Bob, he recorded to me saying, I was playfully making some... Uh, <laughs> jokes about him i was like oh yeah whenever he lets me talk or something <laughs> and he made a whole like segment about it on the show oh god where he was like upset with me <laughs> was just like, i was like i don't know what you're talking about man <laughs> so uh, I was you don't have any proof of this giving him some content he's a good guy man he's a lot of fun uh, oh man he's a little um some days he's a little uh little a little crazy not like <laughs> Difficult to work with, but a little more ADD, I guess, is what I'm trying to say. Oh no, we've oh, heard uh, some stories about him on the yeah. morning show. Oh yeah, oh he's get he gets rage filled sometimes, <laughs> I, I especially that type of story. I think we're all pretty good. What'd at you call it? Rage down. what? Rage, rage filled. filled, filled, yeah. Rage filled. Okay. He has only been really upset around me and Matt one time when we were in there, and I forget what it was. I think it was just some of his equipment wasn't working, some stuff he brought from his house, his laptop. Uh, okay. And he almost broke his like new lightsaber he got from the, the this uh, <laughs> he just trip broke. he went on. He yeah. just finally he, just... he didn't break it. He held back a little, but he then he threw something else. No, <laughs> I meant like his psyche. His psyche like broke a little bit. Oh, a little bit. Yeah. He he's prone to rage yeah. at times. I think we all are, right? And yeah, he's he's getting help. He, he's getting better. <laughs> Is that like you? Uh, is that why you like the green a little bit over there, Mike? You're a little rage prone. Oh, you should hear me in traffic, dude. It's, it's <laughs> well, I mean, I feel like everyone's like that in traffic, right? As long as you're not road raging, you can rage in the if car. On my way to work, right after I just woke up, man, it's fucking like you idiot. Yeah. You know? <laughs> like, oh yeah. Oh, there's crazy. so many stupid drive. Actually, I had a nice drive here for some reason, but it's Sunday, so yeah. But every effing day I'm driving to work, there's always some asshole just <laughs> yeah, weaving around. I'm like, dude, you're only getting to work like 30 seconds sooner, <laughs> probably. I'm that hey, asshole. Sometimes that makes, <laughs> well, that makes there, all the difference. Too, but, oh, man. See, somebody you just can't help it. You're emotionally like, oh, I'm so sucked. Well, I, I don't know. I'm, I'm like, just pro- I get it. I, just pro- I guess I I'm just prone to drive fast. Yeah. I don't know why. Well, that's different. As long as you're not weaving all the way into the right lane. I mean, no, if, no. if you are still, get no. some help. No. <laughs> At least put on no, your blinkers. I'm when not you're doing anything. Lines. I'm not like going around. Right. You know, I mean, that's not different. crossing that yellow line. No, no, no. It's dangerous. That's dangerous. So I don't one, really care. I don't one, judge. I'm just like, I did that when I was younger, so I don't care. <laughs> one thing I try to remember is that just when ego. I when <laughs> I come when I come across someone, I think, what the hell is wrong with you? You got to remember, like, I may not. Oh, you're a human being. I forgot. Yeah, yeah. There, there's another thing yeah, to remember. Yeah, yeah. Like, you're one of us. Oh, there's a yeah. possibility I may have done the same thing at one point. Yeah. yeah. Oh, probably not lose my shit on this person. Yeah. yeah and it's like, why well, jump yeah. to the conclusion that they're an asshole? Maybe exactly. they're really distracted. And, you know, maybe exactly. it's their fault, but maybe they're having a bad day. Yeah. And, and maybe you've about, been that asshole at one point. Oh, yeah, yeah, I, I've yeah. definitely been that Absolutely. asshole. Absolutely. <laughs> This has been a PSA from radio on the TV. (laughs) Sometimes you're in a different lane emotionally. (laughs) You know? know, But one thing we all all can agree on, people who hog the left lane and go slow as hell. That bothers me. That bothers me. They they need to die. (laughs) Wow. I think they need to speed up first. But if they don't, then yeah. yeah, yeah. Just get ready to run them off the road Mad Max style. I mean... Yes. Yeah, <laughs> Absolutely. Exactly. As long as they're okay. Just got a little bruise or something. Just a little. <laughs> and a total vehicle. Just a little nudge. Yeah, just keep them off nudge. the highway for a couple weeks. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, I remember when I used to live in Austin for a year. Dude, living, li- driving to drive to work every day on 183, it that just turned terrible. me into one. I also was like, why? I used to be the guy like, why do people always get so aggressive on roads like that? You, yeah. you only hear about it. And then I start driving with people in Austin on a regular basis. And I'm just like the one who's like just going between the lanes. Like I'm at least putting on my blinker as I go between lanes. Right. But I'm just like, I'm the one who does not pick a lane, essentially. And I'm trying to go as fast as I can, cut people off. Like, oh, now I understand why these people do this. Yeah. Yes. Dude, I see the worst in people. and Because I... <laughs> 
work weird hours, so I don't know. I'm not normally in rush yeah. hour traffic. Yeah. And there was one morning I went in. This is the morning I think that Dale and Chewy were gifting me some shoes on mornings with Matt and Bob. Oh, yeah. You said Bob. Dale. You meant. S- s- did I? Yeah. Man, whatever. It was <laughs> Chewy and Dale. No, <laughs> Chewy and Bobbo. Yeah. No, I heard uh, that episode. It was fun. No, but I was driving in around rush hour time. They wanted me there at like 730-ish, so I'll leave at 7. I was like, God, I forgot how bad this was. I'm running a little bit late. <laughs> mm-hmm. But not only that, it's like the traffic is just almost gridlock, and people are just behaving in just really shitty. <laughs> right. And I'm like, oh, that's kind of spreading to me in a weird way. I'm like, I'm getting fucking frustrated. Like, I, I'm starting to understand this now. And why people, especially during, you know, those ri- like morning shows or afternoon shows maybe yes. – during their rush hour drive time, if the one little thing has changed, you know, <laughs> like someone gets fired, they're like, what the fuck? Yeah, what the, the fuck? That was the last thing I was looking yeah. forward to. Fuck. <laughs> already, I'm already pissed. Yeah. <laughs> you have to drive home. So, it's, yeah, we're going to drive home, listen to some fucking new talk show. What is that? Yeah, some bullshit. Who is this guy from this fucking mo- L.A. or whatever? Like, yeah. <laughs> So, Which are just great talk show hosts there, but you know it's always fun to have a local. You well, know what I mean. Now that guy from L.A. is one of your bosses. Yeah, yeah. Is he? <laughs> oh, L.A. Lloyd. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. He was he was down in San Antonio before us, but yeah. Now he's national. Yeah. He's I thought it was La Lloyd this whole time. Nah, we call him L.A. I thought you paid attention when you turned on the show. No, it's fine. You don't listen LA to the co- the breaks and commercials. I don't really. I don't listen to L.A. Lloyd as much. I listen to more 101X in the afternoon. Who's coming That's in? That's us, baby. Who, who do we got coming in? Is it pizza? <laughs> oh, did did someone order pizza? Wow. Dun dun dun. Thank yes. you. I guess. Who, who ordered pizza? It's from ah. <laughs> All right. Well, go get your He's pizza. He's gonna Mike. smoke us out. What kind of pizza did you get there? I don't know. I don't know yet. He's like, you just pick whatever toppings. <laughs> he told them to decide. I like that. <laughs> He's got anchovies and jalapenos. Oh, yeah. Anchovies. Do they do anchovies at Domino's? Yeah. Do they? I tried it one time. I, uh, I, didn't, I, didn't, I didn't exactly regret putting the anchovies on, but I decided, like, maybe not in the future. Yeah. That's what I've heard. I hear they're just salty, salty, fishy yeah. things. My roommate loves them. <laughs> Hot, salty fish. Yeah. Afraid of them. That sounds like a Limp Biscuit album. <laughs> oh, yeah. Hot salty fish. Yeah, that sounds hot. Right? I was thinking that's an innuendo yes. for a bad Hot vagina. Salty fish. I like Oof. That. Oof. That was a lady present. How dare you <laughs> <laughs> talk about my vagina like that? <laughs> no one said it was hers. Is it yours, oh, Connor? Man. I don't have a vagina <laughs> anymore. Oh yeah. Okay. Did you so? Did you used to be? This is something I've been wanting to ask. So did you used to be in a metal band? Right? Is that you? You no, look like uh, it. I don't know what to call us. We <laughs> we played hardcore, I guess, or sort of like. Okay. But it was it was similar what, to what what like uh like daughters. I don't know if you ever heard of daughters. This they play or the locust or uh, some girls. Um, these 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 feels like very band niche hardcore. That they play like minute long songs. <laughs> is this like tsunami and like uh, I'm unfamiliar? Like, I'm unfamiliar. This is like new. This is newer hardcore. It's more similar types of music. Well, it's like Dillinger Escape Plan without the okay, jazz, without the jazz and like a lot shorter songs. Okay, so like so without the amazing drummer and you know it's it's a good band, but yeah, uh, yeah, just weird. And I played the bass and I just picked it up and I was like playing by ear and stuff mm-hmm. and it was a lot of fun. But I play we played one show in Georgetown. Oh, oh. and then I moved to San Marcos to go to college and they're like, hey dude, what's up? What's up? Where'd you go? <laughs> I was yeah. like, I'm in college, man. Like, Why <laughs> don't you tell us? <laughs> I was like, oh, I'm not really that far away. I'm pretty sure we could make this work, and uh, things fell apart. Oh, okay. They actually fused with another one of our friends' bands, and we turned into something interesting. Mm-hmm. Did a few shows, and then, you know, people go different ways, different lives. And, yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, that's it. <laughs> that's really all was it was. Was it a hard breakup, or was it just like No, everyone... no, it just sort of naturally happened, I feel like. Cause, uh, Y'all didn't have your own Yoko Ono? No. I mean, if anything, it was me. Because <laughs> like, I left. I mean, I wasn't trying to drive anyone apart. If anything, they yeah. went and collabed with a. They wanted they to get away from you. Because it was just uh, still- a four piece. Uh, yeah. So, guitarist, uh, bassist, our drummer, and uh, our singer who always showed up late to practice. Yeah. So, oh, he was the star. So, he could have been. Yeah. Don't know what he was doing. But you, he, had, well, he had a good sound to him. He, he probably just got finished with one of y'all's groupies. 
Oh, maybe. We didn't have any of those yet. <laughs> you didn't we know about him because he was school. hoarding them all. Did you? Maybe. Do you still he play bass? He was a scene kid. I do not. Uh, <laughs> oh, is I'm not sure the... if I still have a bass. So even. what year was this? God, it was like 2005. Oh, okay. It's a long time all ago. All right. Yeah. All right. I was a teen. Yeah. Mike, a teenage boy. Mike here fancies himself a guitar player. Awesome. Yeah. Well, I, I was a... in a bunch of, I was in a metal band when I was in high school. Nice. Yeah. Was, uh, was it cool. more uh, just straight metal, hardcore? Yeah, it was. Well, it, was it was like the, the hardcore. hardcore is a huge umbrella. Yeah, exactly. So it was a hardcore. Post hardcore. <laughs> I we we did try to be like Dillinger Escape Plan. Like that fucking, was hot. Yeah, they were cool. <laughs> and then uh, just... Parkway Drive was big at the time. A little more melodic. Yeah, melodic hardcore is really popping off. This mm. was like 2008 era. Yeah, sounds about where right. Where a day to remember came into the scene and yeah. blah 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 blah. Oh, man, I remember. but I was I was never really a bit into them as much as I was into like uh, more more harder stuff. Yeah, I remember uh, listening to Norma Jean. Norma Jean, there you go. That's another Those one. First two Sounds albums familiar. are pretty. That solid. was one of the first hard hardcore bands. Yeah, that I heard. Uh, Norma Jean is, was also a uh, believe Marilyn uh, Monroe's actual name mm-hmm. before she changed it to Marilyn. Yeah, that's true. Her, her acting name, I would assume. Yeah. Uh, so it might be where you've heard of it. And then, but, uh, uh, Norma Jean, I think they're still a band, but they yeah, they're, they're shadow. They, ca- they came back a yeah. little bit. Those first two albums are so insane. Um, it's always like the first two or three albums yeah. of, is always the like what people consider the best work. Usually, yeah, because that's the you know defining that's moments. The, and then they're like, the little, okay. Yeah. It's well, before we'll they do. get the money. Yeah, and it's like, okay, now we've really done all this hardcore stuff. Let's start singing a little bit more. And you're like, ah, it doesn't sound quite as good always. If they weren't intention, mm-hmm. intending to do that, in my opinion. Do you, do you listen to Turnstile? Uh, I I do because we play some of their songs on One on One X. That's crazy like to me that you play Turnstile on the radio. We now. Play a holiday. why is that? Because it, Turnstile used to be just like a fucking hardcore, just like cursing all the they, time. No, it wasn't. It's not cursing. It's just fucking. It was, just it, it was slow. It, 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 I mean, not slow, but I mean, it was like a small. It was very small. I didn't think hardcore yeah. would. Well, Get remember he's on the alternative rock station. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, that's so. true, but I was just—I never thought that fucking you know. Well, I, they got surprisingly big. They're going to a pretty big festival in Vegas, uh, Sick New World Fest, with a bunch of old. Oh school, yeah, they are going to be at Sick New World. Fest. Yeah, a bunch of uh, old school radio, radio metal Did, artists like Corn and. Uh, are y'all going to that? I don't think so. <laughs> I want, I want yeah, we have, we have started playing a little bit more of that uh, lineup. Recently, with uh, our yeah. owners, they're not important. It's coming enough. back. Changes, do you but... think? It, do you think that type of music is coming back? Have you uh, noticed possibly. that? It kind of trend. Yeah, in the I younger mean, crowd, it's very cyclical. A lot of ways. I mean, we've had the '80s coming back for the past like 15 years. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you know, that's been popular, and I think '90s is next. And I mean, how many people still are still hoping disco comes back? No one. No. <laughs> Uh-oh. All right, so someone in the crowd. <laughs> I think disco <laughs> when dubstep came out, that was sort of the disco era. I feel. Oh yeah, you know that's a very brief. When it got really big, when uh, it I don't dis- know, it's like yeah, very synthy version of disco. If you're going, that well, route. I mean, like it Word. was, it was kind of like that was the almost the the vibe the ecstasy the era again, where like raves were popping off. I feel it was, it was the end it of was. dubstep when you started seeing it in movie trailers. You're like, <laughs> oh, oh yeah. it's going to be Here it's done. <laughs> Give it a year. When Skrillex, yeah. when Skrillex made it, all that sort of bro step mm-hmm. is what people consider it. But it's the really heavy, like. <laughs> And then Corn Distorted started doing stuff. it as well. Yeah. Corn when Corn like, we, did it, I was like, I'm done. St- I got, I was done with Corn. They, they took started. our Corn. I was, so right. pissed. I was so mad. All right, so we're getting to a point. I say we uh, go into some of our uh, our little uh, regular bits we do here. Let's put, let's pull up in Spyro Bot. Oh, we're doing Spyro Bot. So this, so, this in Spyro Bot is this AI I know. that generates cool. inspirational posters. That's what we need. All and, of us need that. And it, but they come out. They can come out so horrible in either a fun or bad direction. Awesome. That uh, oh, we we enjoy. It. We've even got some of them saved up. That's right. You got it pulled up there, Jake. Show us pulling it up. And if anyone we, uh, we desires, we get some real gems out of this thing, and we vote on what we keep and what we don't. Perfect. This sounds like fun. All right. I played around with some AI generators for the free trials recently. <laughs> past few weeks, I made a bunch of Vin Diesel things. <laughs> <Nice>. <laughs> Put them on my Insta. <laughs> so if you want to read this in a certain voice, feel free. Our last guest did it the last week, and that could be a segment. So okay. if you're a voice actor, 
feel free to use whatever oh, wow. character he, you can He's think just of. on the radio. I'm not freelance yet. <laughs> All right, here we got Inspirobots. All right, here we go. Let's see what we got here. Hmm. What hmm. G- what gold will you give us today, robot that looks like Hal from Screen Hal? Oh wait, go, scroll. A, a virus can help wow. you create a masterpiece. Wow, that's right. I believe like, that look right at the right world now. today. That was a smart choice. Look at the world AI today. wrote that, huh? Yeah, <laughs> didn't take much. Yeah, huh? that uh, isn't that crazy? You know what? With with the pandemic like- that just happened. Wow. Does this come off a little philosophical in a very like negative, direc- pessimistic direction? Yes, this is why I don't like this segment. I don't like AI. <laughs> this Are we going to save like, this? I don't like AI at all. Like it This needs, is terrifying. This one needs a little like like drug advertisement like on the bottom. Like it's <laughs> Pfizer. Div- Divolta. And it's like, you know, a little... <laughs> Like it's an ad in a magazine. Like, why would it put that up there? Why would it say that? It decided it's, it's to, random. you know? I don't like this. Do we want to save it, or do, do we skip like it? AI? I don't... I, I vote no on this one. I don't like All it. Right. Uh, this, is, it. this freaks me out every time. What are, All right, are we voting here? Like, I think we just voted it down. The All government. Right. We're going to yeah. feel good tonight. <laughs> <laughs> no one wants a virus. All right, let's next generate. Segment. Oh, next no, one, no, next no. one, next one. There's no help. Sorry, I didn't mean to be a Debbie Downer right there, guys. What you intensify, you build a bridge out of. I, we're not getting any good ones. Tonight. This one, this you know, one you almost reads like it's a bootleg <laughs> shirt from China. <laughs> yes. This is my workout shirt. It's I'm the just bad tr- English translation. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. My buddy used to buy those. Like, he would get, like, <laughs> fake Gucci ones that clearly has, like, too many letters. Or, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, yeah. Or, you know, those translated shirts, like, like this kind of. We should just make shirts out of every one of these generated ones in the yeah, episode. Yeah. When, when we finally yeah, have yeah. people willing to buy merch from right. us. Steal the AI's ideas. Thank yes. you. I mean, you That's got, what they're you for, got to work right? with it. I mean, <laughs> at the least, we should still uh, ha- get that Instagram up where we post these onto oh, uh, our, the good ones we want to keep. I think I got us already on the TV podcast. So if you want to take that You got over, it on Instagram? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, you got the folder saved. All That's right. True. I, for this one, it. I'm voting no on it. I, one, I'm just not feeling too it. Boring. The other okay. one at least had a good picture of a <laughs> of a of, of a chick of a woman Spiral hopeful bot. looking over a cliff. <laughs> there we go. To some people, dance hall means <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> what? What does that even mean? <laughs> Are you see- Chelsea? Yeah, that's what, that? <laughs> that's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. I'm sorry. <laughs> is this some inside joke I'm not aware of? Yes. Sometimes art. <laughs> Wait, hold on. It is an inside joke, Mike. Sometimes art titillates. And, and, <laughs> and, 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 <laughs> it's challenging, yes. and I feel very challenged right now. I Do you know what this means? To interpret uh, what this Mike? means. Yes. <laughs> what does it mean? Please enlighten. I know exactly what this means. Please enlighten us. Wow. If you take a girl to a play, it's insinuating that. You're getting laid, you know and that's mean? is that what is that called? Grope cunt lane. If you take a girl to an opera, you know what I mean. It's fucking. Don't you think at the end of the night it's pretty romantic evening? Sure. You know what I mean. Get some kisses. I feel like this is a very similar. A uh, uh, vile way to say that. Yeah, that sounds. This is a very I'm vile just like, way. How did it come up with this saying, word? Hey, do you want to go to the opera and then later you sounds get a blowjob? Sounds like blow that job middle schooler who's about to try to dunk. <laughs> oh my god! The whole South this. Park it's episode not make about it. this episode. He's like, hey, this. how's your group cunt? <laughs> <laughs> dunks. I, I say we keep it. I like that one. Oh, I, one so one. I kept Sorry, it because it's it's one. amazing. I know. I, you <laughs> I like never how, expect a word like that to pop but up. But look at the background. It's a guy with a basketball. Yeah, man. And he's like about. To, do you think he's gonna make? He's it? not gonna make it. He's oh, not, man. like no, not with. I watched the NBA. He's not that guy he has could no... be standing on a, a, a step. <laughs> step <laughs> yeah, <laughs> still step. Whatever. This, whatever exactly. it's called. Step stool. That, that one is definitely a winner. Oh yeah. Oh. Let's see. Yeah. Existence prevails. Oh, that one's true. I feel like we should get a that one's Jeff true. Gold. Yeah. They, like it's, that one. We we should Photoshop Jeff Goldblum from Jurassic Park into this. Oh, you know his yeah. line, uh, "Life finds a way." Mm-hmm. This is just the more philosophical version. Existence prevails. That was, was that your voice? Can you do it again? Existence prevails. All right. So, I don't know if that was a good Jeff Goldblum well, impression. Sound I don't like think Sam so. Neill. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's the other star, of course. I I'm on the fence about this one. It's not really funny, but Let's I take like about... the jazz hands in the back. I say this one's accurate, so it's not quite as funny. So it's like neutral. therefore a no would be. My would you vote. wear the shirt? Mm. Absolutely. It's so dumb. <laughs> you know what? Since you give it to that, and how we may end up selling shirts, hopefully one day. 
maybe throw this in as an option. I mean, I, just, I hope that's a true thing. Existence prevails. <laughs> I hope we keep. We going can't on. disprove that. I mean, at least some cockroaches are going to make it. <laughs> yes. After we destroy each it other, seems to be the trend of things. <laughs> All right, let's see what we got next. How do they do it? If you ever feel sad, <laughs> here we go. Oh yeah, bitch. <laughs> Was it DMT? Do we, we want to search up what that value is? No, no, I think that's D- it? So no, I, I think like that's DMT. Uh, that, it's, it's, it's much more deeper than... Oh, it, oh, 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 wait, oh wrong, wrong screen. I liked that it was like a <laughs> post-apocalyptic shot of some buildings. So that is Some true. fog. <laughs> or uh, dust. Uh, where'd it go? <laughs> I, feel like, I feel like that's trying to tell us something. Have, that's, have I think that's ever, a hallucinogen. I, I, it's not a... Well, I, yeah, I guess it is a hallucinogen. Yeah, DMT? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Dimethyltryptophan? Yeah, it's a lot of fun. Have you ever done it? No, I just know the word. Yeah, and it looks like your background a little bit. So yeah, it's scary. exactly. It's well, it's kind of weird that it's up when you there. close your eyes, it looks like that. It's yeah. the appropriate background this for makes Michael. No sense. Mm-hmm. What happened? It's just the value. Yeah, search the value. And- yep. No. No, yeah, I mean, see, it's DMT. I, said, I meant, meant the value. I mean, like, I think that means Dude, like, look at for man. the we value. Just, we just got bombed, and there's a whole bunch of dust. And- <laughs> man. I thought it was showing a nice... I think it was trying to tell us to do DMT and get high. Well, fun fact, your brain releases DMT right as as you're dying. So how much does it cost? So you hallucinate the last minute or two of your life. That's when it says the life flashes. So that's terrifying. It it was more like a uh, stoner value. It's like, dude, have you tried the DMT? Have you tried death? (gasps) Why, (laughs) AI, are you selling it? (laughs) Goodness. Oh, I, I say that one... That, I hate I, it. We can you know you hate it. <laughs> yeah, you've done it. No, I have. No, I just <laughs> no. Those blurry build, buildings are worrying I, do me. Do you think it's a? You think it's an hey. apocalyptic look? Or hey, do you when think you're in the apocalypse, you need hallucinogens it, to get you through it. It looks like it's for it's a brochure. This is Silent yeah. Hill, <laughs> but it's like sunnier. <laughs> this is a resort on the. It's lake. a resort, and it's like you get DMT <laughs> when you get a room. Okay. You know, so, I get the same feeling. Which like, would be our, badass. Well, that'd be fucking. I would do you that. want this? I get me. the same. This one gives me the same uh, feeling like the last one. Existence prevails. And like, yeah. not not bad, oh, not good. <laughs> I forgot to show you oh, that. There's I didn't a, see okay. that. You oh, need yeah. to zoom out wow, for us. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Care. So we're not seeing. I don't the have whole enough picture. screen real oh, estate. Cl- clearly, everything's okay. He's yeah. gonna go surf. He's just the last. brochure. The last man alive is going surfing. So is that the name of the resort? Dimethyltryptamine. I vote no. Uh-huh. Well, let me see if it's a resort. The, no. Oh, there's no way it's a resort. This, oh, where no. are you staying tonight? Oh, DMT this, this resort. To me. What? Oh. No. <laughs> no, no, go back. There we go. Uh, go back. Type in DMT resort. It popped up. Oh, my. Ret- okay, so yep, oh. there are retreats for this. Well, okay. Mexico. Yeah, of course. Yeah, there are. Yeah, there are retreats. Well, there's some value. We talked about this last time, I think. that. How- so it's a Mexican hotel? No, Sweet. it's it's like a, it's a, it's like a, there are these places they are like, a church or whatever, and you go there, and you can. They give you this. It's not DMT though. It's I think it's ayahuasca. That's or, the chemical in ayahuasca, DMT. Uh, is yeah, it, but is I'm just nice. I'm just saying. I think this is the form you drink. I, yes, I know the, the tea. The pure mm. form of DMT is it's like a scary is, is crystal. A, you, yeah, and you can you smoke it, Powder but you room. don't you don't you smoke it with. You usually pie. put it in a bowl, <laughs> and you don't. You could do it. These are all things pie. I know. You because you right, want to heat it up. Do, you don't yeah, want to yeah, put. Yeah, actual let's go back to it. Inspirobot. Yeah. Try I, I one more. I think we're on the same level. So did here. anyone yeah, yeah. want to save this one? Do you uh, want it on a shirt? Nah, that one's lame. You can't put this one on a shirt. Yeah, I guess. So like we that, say no to this. That's one. the type of thing you see in the po- post-apocalypse <laughs> as like a burnt sort of like full flyer. As your yes. Yes. Does anyone D- trust hoes? <laughs> uh, uh, we got a random guy with a flashlight just looking around. Are there any hoes in my cell, my basement? Where my hoes? I can't trust them. <laughs> Where are they? <laughs> I don't trust them. I got a hoe infestation. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Scroll down. Is there any more to the picture? Yeah, are there uh, any hoes down there? <laughs> <laughs> no. No, there's no. That one's oh, awesome. yeah. I say we keep this one. We that should, one's like. We should mm. put some little glow eyes like in the corner. There. <laughs> no. Wait, wait, wait. Zoom back into that what part. Let's look at, what is that? A, it's a boat motor in the back. Look at <laughs> are we so introducing? It's a boat motor. <laughs> who, who can you trust in the apocalypse? Definitely not hoes. No, not hoes. No, no. They're just out for uh, the meat you're hunting. Exactly. <laughs> All right. <we're, laughs> sounds like this one's a, a winner. Yeah, so. I say yeah, we keep yeah. it. I would wear the tank top. Oh, uh, do we want to? Tr- <laughs> you assume he's wearing. A, it looks like he's wearing a long sleeve. At first, I assumed it was just a cop in the back uh, there. 
With the flashlight. No, it's a survivor, I guess. <laughs> I thought this it looks it. like it is in the roof. It's a cellar. It looks like he came in through yeah. the, the top there. Yeah. What's going on? What are the, but, the, the but why is it like over? this? Oh, yeah, why is it like this? It looks like... It a, is a cellar or an attic. Sorry, that? cellars are... I don't but know. why is there a remember. boat in there? There's a boat with a boat motor That's right there. That's a boat. That's a boat is, motor. The That's a gym bay. <laughs> no, that has to be a boat motor. Because of, right. of the flooding. All right. <laughs> the Great Flood, too. <laughs> That's right. That's right. All right. That's so we're arc. keeping this one. I thought you know, it... we've had two good ones, at least. Should we try for one more? Did anyone else see holes when you first looked at this? I do. Like Wait, what? Holes? Does anyone what trust do you mean holes? Because I had to think about it. Oh, in the oh, word? Does anyone trust holes? Yeah. I, no, was I like, just saw no, hose right I don't away. Think so. Yeah. <laughs> Always suspicious. Well, when of you holes. when you see hoes, you hope you f- you see holes. Ah, uh, we got a, a big old fly. <laughs> uh, it took you a little bit there, Spencer. Huh? No, I got it. I was just <laughs> reacting. Uh, it's the straight man. <laughs> you know, Connor Cam. Doing... Sometimes the reaction is funny. <laughs> nah, don't look at me. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? You're like, yeah, you get self conscious when you have this, don't you? You're like, like my, no- lotion. I feel like my nose is crooked. Well, you know, uh, okay. So we had we got a couple of good ones out of that. We're saving those two that we did. Let's go on to our next segment: Uh-oh. the uh, the AI uh, answers. Is I it, mean, questions. Oh, answers. We have a few questions from the audience. <laughs> Let's see what they have questions to from ask. The audience. Oh yeah, we started doing this uh, last episode. So this one sucks. But it's, let's try again. It's the same thing, but the AI will ask us questions and. Okay. Random question generator. Huh. I mean, Jake the, will pull up three of them. The UI then... already is bothering me. I think what? this isn't made for our age group, man. Why is it? We're in a bathtub. It's it looks fine. like I know. Well, this baby blue. Okay. Uh, it's all right. Infinite bathtub. Yeah. <laughs> so we're gonna start. We're gonna go around with this first. That's question. That's not that bad. What's one place you've traveled that you never want to go back to? Oh, I forgot. I you know, to... you're our guest here, Spencer. We'll let you start us off. Having a difficult time answering that. I really haven't been any place. Uh, there's a place. There's a what was it? A, I don't remember if it was a motel. There's some cheap motel I stayed in in Galveston <laughs> that had bed bugs and fleas. Yeah, and that sounds there, like a lot of them. Stayed there because we were desperate, and we were fortunate enough not to bring any bed bugs home. But yeah, I would prefer not to go back to that place. But Galveston, Galveston was all right. Yeah. I'd go back to Galveston, just you know, not that specific motel. Word. It was kind of creepy. There was a there was literally a prostitute below our room, and she was bringing in Johns the whole like night. Nice, which yeah. is cool. I mean, I'm not judging, but you, these dudes would show up like every hour with like a bottle of something to drink. Uh, and we were like, oh yeah, I know what's going on. I remember when I went down to the pool. I was sitting in the pool with my buddy I went with, and there was like this Mexican family out there, and there's this sort of chubby little kid, uh, their son, I assume. Yeah, <laughs> he's just sitting there, you know, eating some yellow watermelon. I very, I very vividly remember that. Yeah. And I'd never tried yellow watermelon, but we were looking back toward our room and we were on the second balcony and this blind guy comes out because he's, he needs some help, like seeing around, you know, the area to sort of orient himself. And he brings his daughter out, but she's on a harness with a leash. Yes. Oh God. And she starts, <laughs> she starts leading him around now. And out of pure innocence, I'm sure she was just wanting to play like an animal and help lead her daddy around. <laughs> But at the same time, it was very unnerving because yeah. there was prostitution happening. Oh, and I was God. like, I was like, <laughs> if you no, no, do, do not make the joke. If I, if no, I, no, 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 not that necessarily. <laughs> it was a sex thing, but a weird like I'm abusing this girl thing. But because he also had his wife with him, I was like, why couldn't she have? Maybe she's obviously doing stuff in the room. I don't. know. That was a weird visual. Vi- uh, it's very weird. I always remember that. It was kind of yeah. weird. Uh, hopefully she's okay. But I do remember the Mexican like little boy. Just started laughing his ass. Off. <laughs> <laughs> <He was> like, <laughs> and I just remember this little chubby boy. And I was like, "Oh man, uh, I love funny. that kid." I, don't know. <laughs> I was like, "He said what none of us said. We all saw it." His mom, mom ended up shushing. Shush, 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 shush. Have you ever had? Wow. So you never had yellow watermelon? Don't mess with those white people. <laughs> <laughs> those crazy white people. No, I haven't had yellow watermelon. No, still, it's pretty good. Yeah, I like it. What's yeah. the difference? It's, the not really it's, it's more difference. like yellow snow. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. Salty. It's not Delicious. really. It's, it's, it it still tastes like a watermelon. Yeah, yeah. It's just kind of yellowy. Oh, I'll get a try. All right, it, maybe, maybe a little bit more tangy. I guess. Mm, nom, nom, nom. I don't know. All right. Yeah. I'll, so anyway, I'll, you guys have got some places you hate. So <laughs> oh. I'll, I'll start. I'll go with mine. So uh, is this a metal shop I used to work at? I hated that place. It's the only job I've ever quit. Everywhere else, I've been fired from. 
It nice. was the only place I quit. Uh, they literally told me the day I got hired on that they wanted more people like me because they wanted to stop having to hire uh, felons and nice, ex-cons. Nice, nice, nice. So yeah, I it was just uh, the whole atmosphere uh, with management that I left. Yeah, you know, I just got tired of having to be stressed out all the time, constantly. Well, were they just were they harass you when you're off work or what? What just it was so long assholes. ago. I don't even remember. I just refer yeah. to it as the hellhole now. Fair enough, man. That that's all I got. Who's next? Uh, Jake's okay. next. Uh, uh, you you want to go next? Yeah, sure. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, we're just go going ahead. in a circle here. Yeah, Around the table it. makes it easier. It's super simple. Uh, I once walked into the room where I met Connor. Uh, he was just alone in the room watching TV. Very very uncomfortable feeling. Mm-hmm. Never want to go back. <laughs> oh, okay. Right. Yeah. That's why you wouldn't avo- that have been that's the living why you room avoid just downstairs the room. from here? Yeah, that's he avoids the living room at all costs. He hates me <laughs> to me, it was oh. yeah, he had his penis out, right? <laughs> <laughs> Seems like something Connor would do. Something was something was he going on. He would say, on. "Hey, Jake, look over here." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he was like, "Who are you?" <laughs> <laughs> no, the first time I, you and I, really ever. Like, quote unquote hung out. It was like, wasn't it going down to that uh, apartment complex with the pool the other year? Oh, yeah. 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 A bunch of us just went over there. Like how non specific that is for anyone else. That one That's apartment right. with the pool, That's man. Right. <laughs> it well, it was not, only- that, not that we need to know necessarily. <laughs> it was just uh, that one right down the road here on Slaughter. Yeah. And uh, I was just tagging along with you guys and my brother. That's right. Yeah. That's pretty cool. The yeah. pool where. Kyle got anal right before he met his girlfriend. Anal? He got anal. Excuse what? me. And you were y'all. Y'all were the ones who told me about it. No, he, he got pegged. Or he did what? stuff. That's he the... did stuff in that pool. Oh, he fucked. That's where Connor fucked. I mean, sorry, Ka- that's where... my brother. Yes, that's where he got. Fu- yeah, they no, fucked he... in the pool. That's where he got friendly. Yeah, they fucked huh. in the pool. I was. And y'all... everyone saw. Apparently. Y'all told me. Oh, maybe he told me it was anal. <laughs> he fucked her in the ass. Not that I know. Someone Not in the, told pool. Me in the pool. Someone told me it was anal. Okay. Oh my There's god. No crazy. way. No. He just went off. He just went around the. That corner sounds in uncomfortable the... in the pool. It's no. Hey, uh-huh. some chicks like it. Do they? <laughs> the hey, pool? I'm not denying. Anal. Is that I'm really the freakiest it. thing anyone here has ever heard of? Probably not. No, I don't know. no, no, not the freakiest. Thing I mean, I've ever have heard of. you? Have any of y'all ever glimpsed at German or Japanese porn? Yeah, yeah it's my so name. yeah, it's my go-to. That's, not the, that's not the craziest thing anyone yeah, has ever that, heard. That's of. the place I don't want to go back to. <laughs> <laughs> Those days. Yeah, you don't want to see. You don't want to go back to seeing a couple of days. vagina lips stretched out by giant metal. All right, piercings. Oh, okay, why? why wouldn't we want to see? That sounds like a <laughs> wow revelation. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like what doctors gonna deal with. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, then the uh, the gynecologist. Well, it sounds a little. Yeah, it sounds probably like that. I don't know. I've never been. <laughs> You've never had to go see a gynecologist? No, yeah. we, we guys got the <laughs> urologist, which sounds not as cool. I don't know why. <laughs> urologist? What? Come on. We got a lot of cool names. Why do we? Why? All right, Mike, you got something for us? Some pl- place you've place traveled. I never want to go again. Some place you've traveled to, but you'll never want to go back to. A place I'd never want to go back to? Yeah. Uh, I guess. I don't know. I mean, I like. I don't know. Come on, think of some place you... I mean, you hated school, didn't you? Yeah, well, yeah. You no, didn't even I graduate. Never, no, I did graduate. Fuck you. You said you never graduated. I graduated high school. You I went, told me you were a dropout. No, yeah, I dropped out of college. <laughs> Hell yeah, that's where it's at. Yeah. Well, in our conversation... All the people But even that. if I did drop out of high school, that doesn't mean anything, though. That doesn't mean, you know, that I'm not educated. So, boom. Just high school you, wasn't just fun. Just means you wouldn't have your high school diploma. Yeah, right? exactly. You wouldn't be able to prove you're educated. Yeah, but I could There's just always GEDs. You know, that's right. it's true. But I did graduate high school. Or that place that I would never want to go back to again. I guess I don't know. I don't think I have my diploma. What the fuck is paper? Then, Do you ever have like a weird roommate situation? Or like yeah. A, oh, okay. Yeah, I did have it. It's where a, he's living right I've now. I've had a meth head roommate before. <laughs> Oof. It was it was terrible. Yeah. yeah. So I I'd never. But I like that house. It's not that like I wouldn't want to go back to that house. That house was badass, but okay. I just w- I guess right. I wouldn't want to go back to that time. So but then there's other yeah, times yeah. where I wouldn't want to go back to like it worse than that. Like you know what I mean? Like just mentally. Sure. Yeah. You know I mean? Oh, same. Yeah. Yeah. I've been know depressed know I mean? most of my life. Yeah. I don't want to revisit any of that. Exactly. Ugh. You know what I mean? Word. Oh man. Word. All right. 
Yeah. I think so that was a, any of that stuff. I don't want to go back to to that time, I guess. Fair enough. That was a good first question. Let's how while we move on to our second question. Thank you, Jake. Rubber Ducky. You're All right, next one. question. Let's see what we got. What's your worst habit? Oh my goodness. Oh, that's easy. Dude. Well, once again, we're going to start off with our guest here. Some of these require a little thought. Right, uh, right. <laughs> my worst habit, uh, man, I I'm a piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> Aren't we all? No. Uh I mean, I am, but that's not really a habit, is it? Um <laughs> What what do you do as a habit that makes you a piece of shit? No. You much, don't have to answer much, that. I'm just messing not with much, you. No, I know. <laughs> uh I'm trying to think what my worst habit now would be is just Are you late? I guess being lazy right now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Because i got so much time to do stuff. Actually, that's not true. But I feel like I have more time now than I used to when I felt sad. I guess because I, I I'm not drinking as much anymore. Fair enough. Because yeah. uh, that makes you sort of time travel a lot, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> in, yes. In a or, weird yes. way. And, yes. And weed doesn't. And weed just makes you really I don't know. pay attention to time. Well, if you get really baked. Yeah, I get one stupid. Thing. <laughs> and then I go to sleep and <laughs> I get, after eating I'm... a bunch of cookies. Uh, <laughs> gluttony. Uh, I, I, you I, got I, cookies, I, man. I get into weird states of mind where I'm kind of uh, zoned out while you're eating through everything in well, the kitchen. I get sort of antisocial. I think it's still a bad habit. Yeah. Because uh, what I did a lot, excuse me, during my depression was I would push people away a lot, and I didn't mm, feel like yeah. I belonged around them. I didn't think I, I didn't want to burden them with my presence or my problems or anything. And mm-hmm. a lot of that was me pushing away close friends and even current friends. And I still sort of do that at times, even if I'm not in the worst of moods. I'm still adjusting to not being depressed anymore. It's a weird thing, yeah, yeah. to explain to people because you're you're getting used to being normal oh, yeah. <laughs> or it's mostly sober i guess and all these yeah. other things and uh-huh. you know doing activities that aren't just uh drugs and shit Word. uh so uh, that's still one bad habit i hang on to being a bit curt sometimes or sometimes i i i'm not even making jokes and i'll be pan like i'll, I'll sort of patronize chewy sometimes <laughs> when he's annoying me and he's too high and i'm like yeah you son of a bitch <laughs> i mean we'll do that a little bit but sometimes i feel like we'll do it a little too hard on each other and it's like yeah. i need to I need to reel myself in sometimes and you know and also reach out to people more the people uh, that have supported me recently you know and all the uh the good surprisingly good work environment despite some bad elements about it uh, everyone that i work directly with at the radio station is awesome and um it's crazy to think that i would have such an interesting life sort of you know <laughs> so it's like it's fun i don't know not being depressed anymore and i le- i need to be better uh, <laughs> about you know reaching out and just being social with my friends and yeah. i think that's probably my worst habit aside from eating a lot <laughs> yeah <laughs> whenever i get uh a little bit of a drink in me or a little bit too much of the weeds <laughs> oh yeah <laughs> what's your go-to what's your go-to snackage I like cookies. I've been really pounding cookies a oh, lot yeah. recently. Chocolate uh, chip, Oreo. Oreo was what I was on during the holidays. They had mm. those fudge dipped ones that were like limited edition. Oh, I was yeah. Like, those were good. Those yeah. were good. Uh, I like a good chocolate chip. I will eat most cookies. For Do some you... reason, not a huge peanut butter cookie guy. Mm-hmm. Depends on the, the, brand the brand and type. Yep. I think the peanut butter mm-hmm. sandwich ones are good. Mm-hmm. It's uh, just weird. I don't know why. I love peanut butter. I just, I, like, I've know. gotten into uh, just uh if it's around, then not just making a full PB and J sandwich. I'll just like break out uh, the ri- some rich crackers. Yeah, baby. Just put the peanut butter, on, spread that oh, on there first, you go. then dollop that. some. Uh, That's good. Stuff, dollop some man. jelly on top of it. Get That's, a little PB and J snack. Boy, you do stoner. That in. You do stoner yeah. things you, when you it's, don't even it's, smoke. It's not. It's not, at this point. It's not stoner. That it's is fat, a stoner. It's thing. fat guy things. Yeah. Okay. I do hashtag, that, and I am hashtag pig. Pig things. Just pig things. It's called an American thing because we're all such pigs. Yeah. Oh yeah. my god, parlez-vous. All right, so my worst habits, I think it has more to do with my sex addiction. Oh mm-hmm. wow! No, yeah, it's like Just can't help. Ever, can't ever, help ever since I uh, discovered myself, I don't think I've rarely ever gone a day without taking care of business. Sometimes Take it happens for people for a day. long, like a long time. I don't know. Maybe just well. Ever I since think, I think a counselor would be like, "All right, you're not doing it like 15 times a day, right?" <laughs> well, uh, sometimes when I was employed for long stretches of time, I'd go five, six times a day. You know, when you have a lot of time on your hands, you gotta yeah. spend it doing something. I mean, some people have different libido. I don't know, man. <laughs> I wouldn't. I'm saying you're probably not normal. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I am healthy. 
Okay. We just went good. over this uh, last episode where, where, I mean, your where I guess balls your, were hurt. Yeah. Last where time. 21 uh, yeah. times a month is actually considered healthy for One man. healthy bowl over there. It's pretty say. solid. Yeah, awesome. yeah, gonna, it's also a great way to avoid prostate cancer. Yeah, I'm Because if you're not emptying it out regularly, it's going to mess up your prostate we over found time. The, we found the article last time, so it's, yeah. it's actually on the mind. Yeah, <laughs> yeah uh, counter to popular belief uh, <laughs> back in the day, it's not going to make you go blind. Right? It's How hairy even, are your hands, Spencer? They're not hairy at all. Oh, no, mine are pretty hairy. <laughs> Good check. Barely got any hair on these paws. I just shaved mine. Nice. Yeah. Nice. All right. Jake. Time to get to the Man. real shit. What do you think is your worst so habit? I'll, I'll say it's somewhere between probably drinking too much when I'm having too much fun. Yeah. And uh, that'll definitely screw up my trying to get routine and shit. <laughs> yeah. Getting life really moving. It'll, it'll still feel like you're working. But you won't be moving as fast if you're just kind of worn out all the time. So that sucks. Uh, besides that, just little ticks that I have. Uh, trichophilia, something like that. But that might not be the what right one. Trichophilia. It's Wait, a, wasn't I, that I a, pick out my what? beard hairs when I'm nervous. I don't even oh, know yeah. I'm doing it. I, I kind of oh, like molt yeah, almost. Yeah. Uh, and basically, just focusing on not doing that is helpful, and you know, keep continuing to do that. So if anyone out there has that. It's weird. It's weird to yeah. even want to do it, but it feels like you're fixing things always because I'm always kind of fidgety, especially yeah, when I'm yeah. driving. I always want to improve on things, books on tape, things yeah. like that. So always in that mind. Um, so that, yeah. would, that would probably be the Sounds two. like we all got a bunch of undiagnosed illnesses. <laughs> <laughs> No, right mine out. are diagnosed. Well, do you, do See, I think I might have ADHD. <laughs> I've been working with people that have it, and I'm finding a lot of similarities with them. I'm you know like, what? But i got to go see a specialist. I'm like, mm, I don't got the money for that. Right. So, or a uh, study. Tell me. Or a, yeah. So, uh, Jake, now that you brought it up, uh, weird stuff. Uh-huh. I'm just going to ask one question. Is it weird that I remember the exact date uh, when I first uh, figured out my uh, junk? Do you want to tell us when that was? October 12th, 2003. 2003. Okay, so it wasn't just the other the other day or anything. <laughs> yeah, I get some good time in between then and now. Good 25 years? No, good 20 years. Sorry, Jesus. You know, <laughs> I'm not so good at the math. I, I never forgot. Be. Never forgot the first time. Now I don't know the date, but <laughs> I remember being like, "What?" Yeah. Well, I I'd, I'd gone a year of watching porn before I had uh, figured everything out. I was just excited. Like I've always been a manual startup. What? <laughs> so He's it, trying- so in the bottle. Put something in the bottle <laughs> no. first. No, uh, like his brother. Well, no, like what? Yeah. Oh, oh, yes. oh, 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 whoa, whoa, No, uh, so me. if I'm by myself, uh, if I have a partner, like it's an automatic. If I'm by myself, it's uh needs a manual startup. Manual startup. I so uh, literally <laughs> just just man my man. You know, <laughs> man is a prefix. And <laughs> essentially. I just, it was just one day I was watching some of those uh, 10 second clips we were talking about earlier. And I think, like, huh, I wonder what would happen if I just use my hand to see what would happen. Mm. Sure. And then Thank I, you so much for telling then, us. And this. then I had, at the time, the most mind blowing experience of my, yes. life, of my 12 year old life. Uh, You're relating awesome. to so many people right now. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> like, wow, that's how I did it too. I touched myself. <laughs> No, but Isn't the that thing, how it happens? But the thing is, in this state, the <laughs> sex education is so bad, oh, I yeah, didn't yeah. even know how sex worked. What? In no, the no, world? It, no, yeah. TV. You were watching porn, you, you said. You figure it out. <laughs> yeah, no, the, the so when I was 12 is when I figured that out. Okay. When the the sex education started when I was 11. Oh, nice. But they mm-hmm. never oh, they, they what they're they, like don't have sex. <laughs> there was that don't do too. it. But what abstinence the, is a abstinence choice. Abstinence is the key. Yes, that is what they did tell us. But also... I mean, they're also not wrong. It really will prevent pregnancy <laughs> and fun. <laughs> <laughs> and, but the fun. thing is, uh, it was just when they tried to describe... It said uh, when it, when the penis makes contact with the vagina. And I was like, oh, yeah. what does that even mean exactly? Is that what you were like, reading that one time for four hours? <laughs> <laughs> it's like, what does it mean to make contact? Like, I have no, are they rubbing up are against they, each other? Are they or? touching? Oh God, <laughs> using my imagination. Make a contact. One thing they never said was they it gets inserted wow. in two. I had to, f- and also when I when my dad had to talk with me, I have that blacked out from my memory, so I don't remember anything he said. So if it wasn't for porn, it would have been a long time before I knew how sex worked at all. Thanks. 
Thanks, the internet. Cool, man. Yes. Thank God for the internet. The best for, education for lads, I ever had. For young lads like Connor to learn. <laughs> I love that. Um, All right. Thank God. We're going to get Michael's. Yeah, well, yeah, let's get Mike on this. What's your worst habit, Mike? Uh, probably smoking. Probably just smoking too much. That's fair. That's probably about it. You don't want to smoke. That's fair. <laughs> smoke, waking bacon. Probably got to <laughs> put that out. Yeah. But other than that. It just gets expensive, man. Yeah, it does get expensive. <laughs> After a if while, you're buying that primo. Yeah, and then also, I don't know. You're probably not as always Here's aware. Another, I don't trim my beard enough. Look at this thing. <laughs> Let's take a look. There's you got a mouth. Looks man. good, man. I like it. Yeah. What are you talking about? That's Just, good. I want to sculpt it more, but I'm too lazy. You gotta no, get. No, no. Oh, you want to get in beard competitions? No. I just You'd have to. Good. You have to get some product for that thing. <laughs> I know. Join the beard I club, I forgot man. to put my product in today, actually. It's a little, yeah. Oh, really? It's called Do you beard, have a beard oil? Beard butter. Beard <laughs> butter. I'm like, you couldn't have named, chosen a worse name gotta for that. got to get a... <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like something your beard produces. Have a nice like, old buttery beard. Where do, you, where do you think you uh, get it, man? Where do you think it comes from? <laughs> came from Grandpa. People think, oh, God. What? Uh, man, yeah, people think beard beards butter. are gross already. And it's like, don't, don't come on. Uh-huh. <laughs> I like it. Thank I like you. It. All right. It's got the cool uh, di- gray hair. So. You should dye it. Not that you say because you have gray hair, but just you should dye it like, you know, blue or something. Whoa. Go di- oh, dye it red like Dimebag Daryl. I don't know, man. I don't, I don't know about that. That's too much effort. <laughs> you know, guys. That's true. I got blonde hair. It's a lot of upkeep. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Don't you also dye it that? I miss my hair. That's why I said it's a lot of upkeep. That's right. All right. I see those roots. So I I think we've had a good episode today. We're that's coming right. up on our two hour mark. We, we've made it to two hours. Base. Oh, let's say no. We started. I guess uh, ten minutes, minutes late. Yeah, yeah so I was a little late. Five to seven. Well, well, we were. It's uh, it's mostly we our had fault. technical difficulties as well. I think I was literally sixty seconds late. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh. I was, there was like a, I forget what road it was coming down. Maybe it was Davis initially, but there was like some intersection and there was like a car wreck there. And I was like, oh damn it, I had to go around <laughs> that. I mean, hopefully everyone's okay, right? Oh yeah. But yeah. How dare they slow me down? By <laughs> How could you seconds? get in the way of the podcast? That was the reason I was late. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Thank you so much for joining us, man. Oh yeah, it's it's been, it's been a fun me. time. I love working with professional. You can tell. Really? We're, can you? Uh, yeah. He oh, wishes yeah. he could Here's be a professional. Natural. This is new to us, and so we're practicing and just learning yeah, kind of a good. lot. So this has been cool. It's, if it. you notice, there's a lot of imitation of the morning show. Is there? I couldn't. I don't know. <laughs> a lot of talking over. <laughs> uh, that, that's a that's a hard. That's not that hard, but you just got to keep being mindful. I think we were doing pretty good. To be Dude, is that mic stand not staying in place on you? Oh, yeah. Oh, it's, it's yeah, it's a it's little. Right. Loose I like, I like doing, is it falling off? I like doing stuff with my hands though too. <laughs> it looks like I'm. In you and me both. Yeah, we we just found out. <laughs> uh, thank you guys for having me. That was a little fun segment there to do too with the. No, uh, yeah. The I hope AI we can have stuff. you back on one, another time. Yeah, maybe someday. Yeah, yeah. For I mean, sure. I'll be down to come back. Yeah, this was fun. You have some time to learn and took get better at to, this stuff. Yeah, it took me an hour to get warmed up, but that's <laughs> just 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 me personally. No, it seemed like you really got into it right away. I tried. <laughs> I tried so fucking hard. He did. He did. <laughs> Nailed it out the park, man. And it's oh, yeah, good to yeah. hear that life's going. And... Shout out! Shout out to Still Austin. Sorry to interrupt. Oh, yeah, you got, you got yeah, no, we we try to avoid uh, naming brands until we get some uh, some uh, action on it. You know, just give us a little uh, for us to promote. I don't know what he's talking about. <laughs> shout out to Seinfeld. <laughs> Woo! Oh wait! So now that you brought that up, just real quick, last thing. Have any of y'all heard about that AI generated Seinfeld? Uh, yeah. It's an infinite episode. Someone it's oh still posted gosh. on Twitter or something. Yeah, it's episodes? straight up on. It's called Nothing Forever. It just keeps going. It's yeah. just an AI uh, version, uh, produced entirely produced by AI Seinfeld, basically. Now I like when we use AI for this weird stuff. When you say weird stuff, I mean like that's bizarre. That's almost avant garde because <laughs> you see what the way it looks like a. Like, like blockos, Legos, like, like nineteen ninety five, like graphics or like <laughs> trying to do old, like very blocky seat there. Yeah, yeah. Like, it looks oh a little my. better than that. I guess this is but, live right now. But yeah, oh, this is it. All right, let's go. Like nineteen ninety. This is happening right now. This is in. This is terrifying. You bet. <laughs> 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 they, got, they got me. Uh, this is awesome. It's and it's just That's a very awesome. Weird I didn't know that this existed. And everything you see now will most likely never re- happen again. Will never oh, replay. Oh, that's fucking cool. I'm gonna right. love this Fine. show. Oh, uh, where are we now? Are we in George's hey, apartment. Hey, Fred. Oh, Fred. What do you think of this weather? <laughs> Completely different name. It's them. crazy, of course. isn't it?
Yeah, I mean we could be experiencing a heat wave or snowstorms right now. <laughs> That's They're true. They're not even facing each other. I guess we just got lucky with the mild climate here. I suppose. But it's still pretty wild if you oh. think about it. Oh, man. I but mean, what are the chances? Trade positions. Not very good. <laughs> Maybe we should go buy a lottery ticket or something. <laughs> so... It would be fun to get some extra cash. What do you think? It's just like real friends. Hanging Could be out. worth a shot. Does it, get, does it get funny? Well, we can't win if we don't try. That's the thing. It's just let's go for it and see what happens. It's so Who knows? generic and bland. Maybe this could be our lucky day. So it's it's not Seinfeld. It's just a show. It was just designed to do it at, at like la- Seinfeld. Okay, well, that makes sense. But you gotta remember, it's a computer with no creativity. This is a. I wish they programmed the slap bass into it though. Right. Although that would be too. Wow, what a surprise. Huh, on the nose, maybe. How I never thought we'd end up here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, who knew? She's not even in the same I'm enjoying room. it. Have you seen the new exhibit in this museum? That is how a land would dress <laughs> in the early seasons. No, I haven't. <laughs> let's let's a- check it out. The AI is going to Yeah, gonna I heard it's us. really something it's to behold. taking our soul. Yeah, let's. <laughs> All right, we'll, we'll, we'll watch this uh, together. Oh, dear God, what the. Oh. It's just the way they <laughs> sit down is so weird. That's let's weird. make up some of our own characters. <laughs> We're getting taken over. Yeah, that's Brain terrifying. drain from the AI. I terrifying. do love Seinfeld, though. <laughs> All right. You know what? I think we've had a good enough episode. I think it's time we go ahead and sign out. Thank you. That's Spencer. right. Gentlemen, it was a pleasure to meet you. Have me back sometime, and I will wear a non-sponsored shirt. <laughs> I'm not sponsored, actually. I just They gave me... That's the word I was looking for, sponsored. <laughs> they gave me whiskey. He ones. is silly, nice man. And uh, here goes out to dogs with bandanas, since we're all, you know, sporting. Adult diapers. I'm not sporting a sponsor. Gerber grow up plan. <laughs> and AA. We also Thank like. Thank you, AA, for sponsoring <laughs> us, Connor. We're yeah. glad that you're also not drinking anymore. Thank you, Connor. All right. All right. Good night, everybody. Peace. Bye. <laughs>